Uh, thank you so much again for joining in for this session. Uh, today we have a lot of people. Uh, uh, yes, we have a session on CPA, CA and CMA, what should I do? So the theme of the session is, should I do a CA, should I do a CP or should I do a CMA or something like that? Uh, before that, as, as always, last since last few webinars, we have brought in our alumni uh, to ask some questions for the, for the first five, 10 minutes. And today we have Srishti, uh, we have money, we have Jigar, right? Uh, money is uh, a CPA qualified and a USCMA qualified. He's working with uh, EY. Jigar, uh, CA inter, CA dropout, got uh, uh, past CPA, got placed in Deloitte a couple of days back. Uh, Srishti, she is a uh, 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 full-time uh, professional working with Big Four. She is uh, she passed CPA. And uh, Srishti is a very special guest among all of them because she passed CP in 25 days, uh, being a full-time working professional at Big Four in an audit profile. So that has actually caught attention of many of them. I know I'll come to Jigar and Mani. Both are very, very important resources because they are very important for the people who are from BCom background, who are from CA dropout background, who wanted some confidence and they are live examples and their success examples of all those uh, people. And they're really inspiring people for all of them because there are many of them who are having queries. If I'm just a BCom, can I pass CPA? Can I pass CMA? So money is an example for that. He passed CPA and CMA both. And he's working with EY. And uh, Jigar is just a CA dropout. He got uh, placed in uh, uh, Deloitte now. And with Sristi, again, it's she's already working with the Big Four. So I'll not name her Big Four because of the compliance things. But... Yes, Rishri. So straight away starting with you all three, all right? And we'll start from the full time, then to uh, Jigar and then to Mani. I'll uh, uh, kind of go in that that way. So Srishti, please tell us the secret of passing CP in 25 days. Do not tell that you have watched just Simandar lectures and you have passed it because people are not believing it and they're not trusted. So please let us know what is the trick of passing CP in 25 days. So, yeah, first of all, thank you, Shripal, sir, for having me. And the strategy, I, I mean, it's as I mentioned in my post as well, it's not just 25 days, it's all the experience that you gather and all, everything that you put in during that 25 days, that helps you clear the exam. So my strategy was really clear. I want to study to the point for which will help me in the exam. And CPA exam, what I ho have observed is really on a practical approach. When you go for a CA, it is more of more of theoretical. But when it comes to CPA, they test your theoretical knowledge. So I understood each and every concept. And FAR and regulation was a little new concept for me. But FAR, audit and BEC were, it was linked with the CA background. So far, I did all the lectures and audit and back was my self-study and wherever I was getting stuck, I did those lectures. And I practiced a lot, like for each, uh, each chapter that I am reading, I would immediately go and solve the MCQs. And in MCQs, if you see each chapter would, in Becker software, each chapter would have an average of 50 MCQs. And if you see the starting 20 MCQs, those would be a little easy one. Where your actual knowledge is getting test is the end ones. So what I did was I started with the end ones and then I like wherever the time crunch, because of the time crunch, I may have not done the first few, but I made sure that I was doing the last ones. Then last week was entirely for revision, practice test. I solved all the mini tests, the mock test. It was really critical to have that during that. The pressure of time was always there in my mind. Like I have this much time only. So when I registered for the exam till that date, I was not prepared for the exam. I knew that after this, my journey of preparation starts. So I had seen many lectures where it was like, like prepare once you're confident, then go and register for the exam. But my case was reverse. I had the deadline set and I knew that I have to prepare in these days only. So it was it's kind of a risky approach because I just I did not sleep a lot during that day. My only sleep time was so I'm from Nasik and my exam was in Hyderabad and I traveled through a train. So my only sleep time was that eight to 10 hours of train journey because I know at that time I won't be able to study at all. So I utilize that time for sleeping and on the exam day it is really essential that you keep your mind fresh. 
on the exam day you cannot bombard your mind with a lot of information you have to keep your mind very very calm because it is a mcq pattern and you know if even if you skip a word with the question you get it completely wrong so you have you need to have a calm mind in simulations you need to be aware where they are tricking you for that you need to solve all the simulations from the baker software that's really important for reg once i read all the chapters then i went to the simulations and it i i mean it blew my mind what are they asking it was really like am I, have i even read this concept because in taxation it is always like application of the provision is really difficult once you read it you may not focus on maybe the amounts or anything but once it is practically applied you focus a lot so regulation and uh, or accounts i would say need a lot and lots of practice you read the chapters once that's it that would and after that if you practice that will be great for audit and back it is completely reverse the more you read the more you become expertise in that chapter so, so see, i know that that is a very yeah, valid this strategy we are discussing is that you will need to learn a bit but tell me in 25 days uh, per day how many hours you have allotted so how many hours you used to study in a day because that is directly proportional to your success so that's <laughs> the number of hours is what i'm uh, really keen on if <clears throat> it was like i used to sit for a maybe 18 17 18 hours for sure because i just slept like dinner and sleep for just 4 hours 5 hours okay. so and i think uh, i think this is sufficient enough for people to understand yes guys so 18 hours in a day she was studying and yes you come from a ca background so you are habituated during my ca days i used to study 17 to 18 hours because the torture was that if you fail then you'll need to write all the eight subjects <laughs> So, Sristi, that's that's really you have set an example for the people. I mean, the people they are very new who are here, who are uh, actually don't even know CPA full form. There are a lot of them here who are just actually evaluating should they do a CPA or not, and are very new to the course. So, just for them, I'll just give a brief for five minutes. So, guys, like we have in India, chartered accountants, U.S. chartered accountants are basically known as CPAs, certified public accountants, right? They have only four exams. unlike our indian accounting exams which has 20 subjects or indian cma exams which has around 20 to uh, 17 to 18 subjects cpa has only four subjects and you are done with it and you get placed all right that is what it is so there are only one level exam all right so it's only a single level you do not have a foundation inter or a final you just have a single level exam where you need to write only four subjects there are no exemptions whatsoever if you are a ca if you are anyone even if you are ac or whatever you still need to write all the four subjects of cpa so like we have uh, in ca there are a lot of accounting subjects tax subjects in cpa you have financial accounting reporting which is majorly dealing with us gap and us accounting and then we have the auditing which typically is similar to what we have in india what sis she have mentioned that you need to study a lot because auditing language is a bit tough to understand and that's what makes it one of the toughest sections in cpa third subject comes the bc business environment and concepts where it uh, corporate governance economics and all are tested and finally we ended up with regulation which is dealing completely with us tax so people who are not familiar to uh, i mean who are familiar to indian accounting who have already learned a bit sometimes so they might be familiar with far and tax uh, far and uh, audit subject of cpa but they will face a lot of issues in regulation which which is what sristi have pointed out that she was very new to reg because she have never learned us tax and this was the very first time she was learning us tax all right so that's where you will have that kind of uh, differences there in uh, the indian accounting and the us accounting and all so sristi 17 hours in a day is too much to call for for a working professional but having said that you had a certain deadline which you need to meet up because after that you have again a busy season for the people big fours a uh, busy season are january february march and you have september interim season all right then again so uh, so you have taken out that time and sristi been a thorough inspiration right so what have motivated you to study uh, 17 to 16 hours in a day so this is what i heard uh, sir told me in my cpt or maybe inter days that just think will you be able to take this book again and read it again will you be able to do that if you if the answer is yes then you can loosen up you, uh, yourself a little 
but now you know that you cannot study it again because now you are studying it is a lot to take can you take that subject again after failing and study that again and my answer was straight no to that so that's what kept me motivated and i wanted to clear in the first go because i did not have the time or the capacity to deal with it again so awesome. i put in all i had maybe 17 so maybe the total hours and 15 would have been the effective hours because two hours it would have gone anywhere i hope so everyone was watching practice is the key also. correct so i hope everyone watching on youtube also might have heard what the number of hours has been spoken here so we are not here to scare you srishti is definitely not here to scare people that you need to study 17 16 hours and that's why i brought jigar and mani also to support you all right who have gone with a normal routine plan for one year eight months 10 months and they have completed their cp and cma so that's why i just ensured that there is a balance and there is an equilibrium right so i'll straight away go to jigar right jigar it's a very big emotion right she is a definitely an emotional uh, moment to leave a chartered accountancy course and come to cpa and now that you have passed cpa and got placed with deloitte and with a great compensation i would not tell like other institutes 10 lakhs and all and advertise and kind of uh, uh, tell everyone that that's a generic figure and all because yes compensation definitely the average package what a fresher cpa gets is definitely above 8.5 lakhs but i cannot tell a right figure here because it is all based on skills and it will be wrong for me to kind of tell that this is a compensation guaranteed because that has everything to do with skills so don't want to misguide anyone here but jigar having said that it's worthwhile above 8.5 lakhs ctc and leaving uh, ca but how difficult it was to leave ca and to come to cpa um, well first of all uh, ca was my dream and also was my father's dream that i become ca whatever attempts i take but after some point of time after giving lot of attempts i myself got demotivated and thought that it's not going to take me anywhere and i thought that if i spend more three to four years in this then uh, when will my career start and when will i like start learning other things in life so uh, that was the point when i uh, realized that i uh, ca particularly ca is not for me and it's not that it is difficult or it is easy and cpa is difficult or is easy but uh, thing is that ca is not for some people and cpa is for some people uh, like shrishti said cpa is more focused on practical things and ca is more focused on learning and theoretical things so that was my uh, main uh, goal that uh, i i want to learn things practically and that is the main reason i started with simander education because i have i had heard a lot and i also i met you shripa sir uh, in 2019 evolution 2.0 and at that point of time i knew that uh, you are the biggest guide for me to start my professional career ahead lot of <laughs> lot of my uh, ca colleagues also tell me that you uh decided to leave ca at very right point of time because a lot of them are still doing uh, ca and are stuck in ca finance so Jigar, i think that uh, right having said that so what is that you have kind of uh, ensured in cpa what was your right strategy to pass the cpa exam because everyone wants to know like how difficult is the course and uh, can we pass this exam uh, like i'll not take srishti as an example because she is an exception to general rule right so she yeah, have completed in 25 days but what about you jigar so how many hours you used to devote in a day and for a full time student is it achievable or not because i know that i placed you in bd also for internship right along with internship also you were pursuing cpa so it's not like you have just done uh, uh, being a student but when you were being a full time student so how many hours you used to devote for the cpa exam and how many months you have taken over on uh, i started my cpa journey in la last year january after the covid situation was like at the at the verge so i was at video working at video and i thought to give audit exam exam first i <laughs> recommend that uh, no one should give audit exam first uh, any any sequence is uh, fine but not first audit so Uh, that is another topic so come to the uh, come to this topic so uh, in cpa the key thing is to study con continuously means constantly 
and i used to devote my 2 to 3 hours in the morning every day and on weekends i used to give 10 to 12 hours on weekends when there was no job and after i left video i started giving 8 uh, 8 to 10 hours daily to the subject and, and then i started completing my subjects uh, faster so uh, srishti jigar right money to anyways is our hyderabad alumni so i will not talk about money but srishti and jigar uh, samandar does all the classes online so people are here to understand first that can we trust because we have so many alumni all over india now it's not just hyderabad because there are a lot of them should i go for offline class because i feel that online mein there is flexibility you can watch a recorded in case if you miss any of the classes because you guys are not from hyderabad and samandar has location in hyderabad other than hyderabad we have never done anywhere and we do all our classes online what would you give a piece of advice to the people who are not from hyderabad here and who are watching us and uh, do you think online is better or offline is better you still want to go to the physical classroom and uh, attend it so there are a lot of those questions which comes out in the mindset of the people uh, starting off with srishti first srishti yeah. i think it's all about discipline and how much you are dedicated towards it if you can make yourself do the classes daily it does not make a very much difference and i think for doubts and everything we have the telegram sessions so we can any time use that but i i did not find a very much difference between the live obviously live would have been better but even the recorded ones were good uh, what about you jigar so how was it you are based out of surat right so ahmedabad yeah. lot of people uh, are uh, in samandar so how did you find samandar uh, the online uh, presence uh before starting with sivander i i was actually skeptical that how it will be in online classes but after i completed my cpa like during my cpa journey i found online classes more useful to me because i can watch any time and any speed i want and i, I can watch rewatch the video any number any number of times so that was like quite useful to me and i have never uh, saw the live lectures i have always preferred recorded ones because i like to see the videos on my pace and it it was uh, quite i prefer online classes more than physical ones thank you thank you jigar so uh, so guys uh, uh, there is some signs behind doing that online is to because if you miss any of the classes you can always watch the recorded in physical classes one or two weeks you go then after third week you don't go so starting mein sab josh rehta hai uske baad everyone doesn't come and the best thing about uh, cpas it's a short course right unlike the schooling and the college where you need to go in every day for one year cpa cma these professional courses do not need any of the physical presence this is what was my idea basically before starting samandar 6 years back and till now we haven't done any of the physical sessions or very little in case where i come in and i kind of talk to the people and do some of the sessions there but this was an idea because you can sit at home and finish the exam faster and get placed right then doing a physical sessions on saturdays and sundays which goes in for two years which becomes a difficult problem right so now having said that now coming to money money you have done us cma and us cpa both and now you are placed with ey right with a great compensation i don't want to disclose that again i'll just give a disclaimer about 9 lakhs right so money tell me now what made you do cpa and cma booth hello sir yes money we are able to hear you right yeah how are you sir yeah i am doing great thank you money please go ahead at the same time i would like to congratulate sushi and jiga for achieving their goals and for me like uh, it started by the simulator then i joined with cm in photo fetch and uh, successfully i completed with the goals of sql challenge the sql certificate and after that uh, i enrolled with cpa because my main thing was to complete my cpa and uh, i can say that sipal sir and chief sir and other faculty they played a very important role for uh, all our students to achieve their dreams but you compare with the other institutions already doing the market uh, 
they lack in some areas, but uh, all those areas where symbols are focused, he tried his best. But he has to help the students for what purpose they join the institution. Because uh, if you, like, along with the students, uh, faculty also work here to progress and help them to achieve their goal of CPA or CA. Thank you, Mani. So, uh, guys, as you know, Mani is traveling. Actually, they have a busy season today of EY and still have... Uh, thank you, Mani, for coming in. I know that you are traveling currently and there's a lot of noise. Yeah. Right? But I can get that point, guys. So, people who are finding CP a bit uh, tough, so Mani always wanted to go with CMA first. So, that's what he mentioned. So, he wanted to go with CMA first and then with CP, right? Because CMA, US CMA have... So here we are talking about CMA when we are talking about is the US CMA, not the uh, Indian CMA. So money have done the US CMA because a lot of the subjects contradicts or I would say not contradict, I would say it's complementary or uh, similar to what we have in CPA. So in CMA, you have external financial reporting, uh, you have internal control, internal audit, uh, you have in CMA uh, part two, you have the decision making, right? Investment decisions, corporate finance, which is much similar to BC or CPA. So people who want to start off with, uh, uh, because they think that CPA is a bit tougher or they lack accounting and all, and they're not so well-versed in accounting or find it accounting very tough or tax very tough. I think they can start off with the US CMA first, get that uh, qualification and then go in with CPA later. So that is an ideal way of approaching the things. And that's what money have done. Is there any compensation impact, which you have noticed, sir, if you do a CMA and CPA together, Definitely, they will be considered, a, I would say, an incremental 1 lakh to 1 and a half lakh extra salary you might get if you're a fresher and if you're a CMA and CPA both, All right? So in money's case, uh, we have witnessed that. Uh, but again, it is again subjective and it's it differs from person to person, right? And uh, uh, a CMA then going up with CPA because money was in final year of graduation when he started off with CMA and he completed CMA after graduation and then went on with CPA and completed CP also like that. So it depends on a student whether they want to give both the degrees or they want to start off with CPA first. But these are our three examples today of today's session. Thank you so much, Rishti, Mani, and Jigar. Uh, I have not uh, uh, taken, I hope I have not taken much of your, your three's time because I wanted you to be more detailed uh, today on the strategies and all. But uh, having said that, there are a lot of them here who want to just first identify what is a qualification about and uh, how do they prepare that? And thank you, Jigar, for mentioning that it's better to learn some of FAR before starting audit because a lot of the FAR topics get tested in audit. And that's why it's important that not to go off with audit first and start off a bit with, uh, be familiar with FAR, some of the concepts of FAR and then start off with audit. That's a good piece of advice for all the CPA professionals. One final advice from Srishti, Jigar and Mani Srishti, what would be your one piece of advice for all the people who are watching you today? Um, for CP, I would say uh, maybe be practical and try to understand each and every concept and think logically how this concept would impact the financial statements. Thank you so much, Rishti. <laughs> that was you, a very sir. technical advice actually for <laughs> everyone. Uh, typical uh, CP advice, I would say to a client. Uh, I, uh, okay, Jigar, what is your piece of advice to the people? Like I said, consistent studies is first uh, first thing you should do while doing CPA. And another thing is don't go in exam by taking the mindset that you will get the uh, MCQs and SIMs like you did earlier. Because AI CPA is very innovative in uh, like bringing new simulation every day. So uh, you can uh, crack all the simulations in the exam, but you just don't have to keep the mindset that uh, it will be repetitive and all. So that's it. Okay. Thank you, Jigar. Money, I know that you have complimented me and Suraj a lot, uh, but people will think that it will become more marketing because that's how it comes up. But I know the dedication towards the faculties. Uh, thank you so much first for those kind words. And uh, any last piece of advice, money for the people who are preparing for CMA and CPA together? They want to aim for both the qualification. Yeah, sir. I would uh, suggest that uh, if you practice more, it will be very much easy for you to crack the main exams. Because at the same time, even after knowing all the concepts, if you fail, 
manage your time in your main exam, then it will be a big mistake. I think that you need to regret later. So I would recommend after learning things, you should be able to follow the time management because nobody knows that until unless they go and now uh, appear their main exam. Because initially we will be taking much time to solve the MCQs and since whatever or will not software. But if you go in main exam, it won't be like that because we should uh, complete all the exam in four hours. So initially your focus should be towards the gaining concepts. Later on, when you are very much nearing to your main exam, time management is the key point for you. Thank you so much, Mani. That was really helpful. Thank you so much, Jigar, Mani, Srishti for coming in. And uh, I'll have to start my orientation. Uh, I would say uh, the uh, awareness session on CP and CMA. Uh, once again, it's not easy to come in at late night, Srishti, Mani, and Jigar. Uh, thank you for taking out your time. And people who have not heard Mani properly because he was traveling, he was telling that please give your mock exams before you go for final exam. And time management is very, very important because you really don't know how the examination will be. So practice a lot of mock exams, a lot of mock tests before you go for final exam and ensure that you manage your time properly. You'll get the time management skills provided you do a lot of mocks first, right? So there are a lot of mock exams which are there in Samandar and in the Becker's product. So you can practice a lot and get that expertise. Thank you so much, Mani, Srishti and Jigar. Uh, it was great having you here at Samandar Education today. Thank you so much. And yes, we will have separate videos from Srishti, Mani and Jigar. Please do take out time for two to three minutes uh, so that you can share your journey and all and the people can watch you again on YouTube uh, in a detailed manner. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank okay. You. Thank, you. Thank you for having us. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Jigar. Thank you, Srishti. Thank you. Okay. So guys, uh, now we are back to our uh, CPA session. Uh, so as you know, as I was talking about the US CPA qualification, Straight away today, I want to make it more interactive than me talking about uh, what is CPA and then going to the various steps and all because that is very informative. That is clearly known in the outside also. You can find out what are that. So we will go into specific questions today, right? Why you want to do it? Is it worthwhile enough to go for this course? Is it worthwhile enough to invest your time, your energies into this course? So it will be more Q&A based today than our routine uh, CPA questions which we take up. So please put your directly the questions in QA window. All right. And uh, whatever you feel about the course, even if you don't have a single person knowledge, also please put it up there so that we can take it up in a QA format and we can ensure that all the doubts are clarified, each and everything. Now, first question comes from Dhananjay CA or CMA. Now, CA or uh, CMA, unfortunately, Dhananjay, we, uh, here when, I, when you're asking me a CA or CMA question, I would rather say that I would suggest a US CPA there instead of uh, CMA there, right? So I have asked a question, CPA or ACCA. Now, all I've asked the comparative based questions, right? Is CPA greater? Is ACCA greater? Should I do a CMA? Should I do a CA? So my answer would be, depending on your interest, you decide which is the better one for you. Right now, only thing which stops me from recommending students for CA, right, especially chartered accountancy or Indian cost accountancy. The reason is if you have not opted for it, if you have already opted for it, it's well and good. But if you didn't opt for Indian CA or Indian CMA, my advice would be to go in with CPA first. The reason is very simple that CPA exam is very short. It is very easier to complete and there are immense job opportunities. You might have already been following us on LinkedIn and YouTube, placing so many of our students, right? We are tied up with almost every company, US-based company here in India, and we have been placing people like anything. Again, we do not want to give any guarantees and all those things, but be rest assured that the job opportunities are huge and immense for CPA, right? Especially. And one good thing about CPA is it can be completed in easier time. But when you compare it with ACC, right? The reason is ACC is definitely a very good course. I'm not telling that it's not great or something like that, but in the opportunities the way, I would say in terms of opportunities, CPA is a better choice because you have a lot of US based companies in India. We might see ACC also going up in the next year or so when a lot of UK companies will come to India, but right now they have not been at a full pace of outsourcing. Now tell me guys, how many US companies are here in India? Can anyone put on the chat window? Yes, everyone. How many US based companies you find here in India? Yes, any examples there, even on the YouTube chat? Yes, guys. 
how many us based company any examples of us based companies here in india in the chat window pwc ey amazon okay video big four google microsoft kpmg genpack deloitte usi right okay there is standard chartered bank there is accenture there is rsm there is goldman sachs jp morgan morgan stanley right state street mckinsey grand thornton red american express d shaw right sap oracle infosys wipro also invesco right infosys wipro why am i telling that that because they are listed in new york stock exchange also adobe uh no craft z as associate so there are so many companies which are there in india and now why are they coming more to india the reason is very simple that cost cost is very less in india right so the same resources if they hire in us they need to pay so now i place one of my alumni right anju and the package which i placed her in us was around uh, <clears throat> closer to 70000 dollars 70 to 75000 dollars so that's closer to 50 lakh rupees i placed her in us right because she was already having a us visa let me be very honest on that unlike other institute who are telling that you will get a job in us which is not the case you should have a valid visa she had a valid visa i placed her in bdo she got around 50 to 55 lakhs package but when when it comes to india the same person gets a package of around 8 and up to 10 lakhs so you tell me which is worthwhile market for uh, me to hire is it india or is it us definitely it's india right because you would kind of expand more in india because that is cost beneficial for you and now seeing that inflation is going up everywhere the prices are going up lot of the countries are going into recession and india is a very good uh, location to kind of expand because you get resources at a cheaper cost you can be cost competitive all right and that's the way you can handle uh, all the things all right and that's where the companies are expanding in india and that's where many of the companies are coming to india you have seen pepsico's biggest branch coming in hyderabad uh, you have seen lot of these goldman sachs opening up centers in hyderabad uh, we have seen expansion in bangalore we have seen swiss re uh, the biggest world leading insurance company coming up in india so you must understand the market first right directly telling i want to do this course that course first you must understand where is india heading to what are the economics where is the country is moving to where are the opportunities coming up right the opportunities are coming up in the us based uh, companies because they are seeing india as a very good thing and china already is in lockdown and many of the countries are not so uh, what say comfortable with china and all because they wanted to diversify their risk and that's why you are seeing so many people getting placed also from samandar because there has been huge job opportunities in india because of these us based companies right and that is the first thing second thing is you can set up your own firm here in india right that is also a very good thing for a us cpa professional so they can start their own firm so there is entrepreneurship opportunities also in a cpa qualification now with cma what happens is uh definitely you can get a job but the package wise you will not get at cpa because anyway cpa is very tough it has four sections cma has two section so cma starting packages would be around 5 and up to 6 lakhs and cpa goes to 8 and up to 9 lakhs so that would be the uh the important things is what i would say in the difference of the qualification so people who want to make their career in accounting want to make their career in audit who want to make their career in tax cpa is a better choice people who want to make their career in cost management in the decision making in fpna and all those things i would say uh, uh, a cpa qualification uh, a cma qualification is better because that would target the decision making profiles and all those things so these are certain so you will need to identify where your interest is and accordingly you want to go in now for acca people who want to master in uk accounting uh, uk tax right so acca is a better qualification but it doesn't mean that you can go to uk and all same like in us cpa doesn't mean that you can go to us right so right now i am in us and right? so it doesn't mean that with the cpa you can easily get a job there but there are some uh, paths which you can take and undergo and kind of get a job there as well okay now uh i'll just unmute some of them because some of them have raised the hands zaki can you just unmute sudhir there please raise your hands guys who all have doubts so that we can pick it up and make it more engaging and interactive session for everyone sudhir please go ahead uh i think we are not able to hear sudhir uh, saurav can you go ahead zaki can you unmute saurav aman and soemdeep 
Hi, this is Aman here. Yeah, Aman, go ahead. Actually, I am uh, working in the FBNA profile. I have about ten years experience. I am MBA by uh, by qualification, and uh, I am considering. So, I have two questions. One is that if I continue in this profile, uh, which like CMA is good, CMA USA is good, but is that uh, is that all, or you have something else to add in that? And if I want to transition from like FBNA to other profile. Uh, what are the options like? Say, if after ten fifteen years somebody is transitioning up from FPNA to some other profile, what are the options and which qualification helps? If you could please explain, sir. So this is a very good question, Aman. And for the freshers who are watching us, who are starting just to start their career and all, it is very important that first you understand after the qualification which profile you will go into. None of the students are bothered. What is the package? Can I get place? These are the questions. Can I? Uh, Uh, after this, but no one is asking actually what is the work I will get after passing this qualification. Like Aman, I can tell you after US CMA, the majorly the work which you get is more of an FPNA work because CMAs are typically decision makers. So typically they are being hired in financial planning and analysis, some risk management profiles like internal audit and all, right? CPAs typically work in core US audit, US tax, right? Because tax is not a subject in US CMA. Right and tax is an emerging area, and that's why we have started with enroll agent because, to be honest, US tax is getting expanded a lot in India, and that's where the opportunities are more for US tax. Right. So I would say, Aman, in your case, because you are already in an FPNA profile, a US CMA is more suitable, and it's very easier to complete along with the. Uh, Zaki, can you just mute Sudhir there? Yeah, I am sir. Yeah. So. In your case, I would I would tell that uh, a US CMA is a better thing because you're already working a month in FPNA profile. So I would say US CMA would definitely suit to that profile. And then later, I think because these are all short qualification. After US CMA, if you think that you can do CP also, if you have the energy levels, uh, I mean you can definitely do that. We have seen people passing US CMA, CMA and CP both within 15 to 18 months. Definitely, it can be in your case as well, Aman. But seeing your profile, seeing the background, I think US CMA suits more, Aman. I hope that got it. Happen. Thank you, thank you for the advice. And uh, just one last thing about that transition: like, what are the possible uh, transitions one can make uh, uh, after having considerable experience in FPNA profile? Like, how can one uh, transition into a broader <laughs> role? So, Aman, what happens here is for everyone who's watching us again, right? So, what Aman is asking guys here is, how is the finance structure? right so finance is structured into corporate finance right business finance so corporate finance deals with mergers and acquisition guys it deals with uh, your financial consolidation your balance sheet preparation and all so there is a separate team in every company for corporate finance there is a separate uh, team in every company for fpna which is known as business finance so fpna team does the pricing of the deals they do the fpna the internal fpna why my revenues are Are down? Why my expenses are going up? What are the reasons for the same? So they are more into analytics, right? Then third comes the corporate accounting group. So corporate accounting group does the income tax filing, the returns of the employees, and all those stuff. Uh, the P A, the E S I, the compliance is related. So these are the three popular, I would say, the uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the structure of the finance overall, right? So Aman, in this all three structure. FPNA holds or the business finance holds a superior role because CFO can only be made when he knows the business more. Correct me if I'm wrong, Aman. So if you don't have if you don't have any knowledge about the business, you cannot take the decisions properly, and that's where a CFO spends considerable time in the business finance role than in a corporate finance. Right? Technical you can learn any time, but the decision making, the business knowledge you get over the period of time only, and that's where we rank business finance as the first profile. Then corporate finance, and third comes corporate accounting because corporate accounting can anyways be automated, right? So these are the three finance structures. After you pass CPA, CMA, you go into these three structures in the industry. In the big four, you go with so in big four you have audit, you have tax, you have advisory, you have the mergers and acquisitions, and all those things. Then in investment banking, you have the equity research, you have the valuations, you have the uh, mergers and all. So these are the primary profiles which you get after CPNCM. So I mean, in your case, you can make a tremendous shift towards 
from fpa you can move to corporate finance you can move to business finance you can grow uh, move to corporate accounting role so you can move around the finance role very easily aman and you are a very good candidate for a cfo post in the future makes sense thank you thank you that makes sense thank you yeah sort of go ahead so hi so uh, am i audible before i'm yes, asking sir. the question yes so uh, just a quick uh, question about this uh, so once a candidate enrolls for cpa i know like studying and mock exam is a part of it but before that uh, what are the certification like credit leave about the credit aspect i just want to know uh, there are few things which we need to do right we need to go to the universities and collect the things just to process it and all so i just want to know from your side uh, what are those areas which a candidate needs to take care before uh, before enrolling to this course and studying mm -hmm. about it so sort of yeah. uh, the people who are watching us again for cpa right so there is a transcript process so transcript is nothing but guys your mark sheets which you need to get from the university in a sealed envelope the moment you open the envelope you are a goner so never ever open the envelope they come in a sealed envelope you should just tell transcripts that is a word you should tell to the university we have tied up with lot of agents also so you can tell your agents or uh, the per person who are, whom we are tied up with he can go to the university and collect on your behalf definitely he will not do for free he might charge something so those agents can also go to the university so what happens guys for cpa as saurav is asking is because there is a eligibility requirement you need to be uh, having 120 credit every year of your graduation is converted into certain number of units known as credits so one year of your graduation gives you 30 second year gives you 30 third year gives you 30 overall there are 90 credits so can a bcom sit for cpa exam because cpa exam requires 120 credit yes is the answer they can still sit for the cpa exam provided they register for the bridge course so we have a bridge course to meet the credit requirement if they are short of 120 credit guys so they just need to register for the bridge course they don't even need to wait for the bridge course to complete i repeat it again even if you register for the bridge course you don't need to wait for the bridge course to complete all the bcom guys listen me very very carefully here so you just need to register for the bridge course the moment you register you can write your exam simultaneously and you need to give an undertaking that you will meet the balance 30 credits with or with your one year program <clears throat> so are you studying anything extra you will not study anything extra here because these are all complementary and all the cpa subjects itself are there in this curriculum of the bridge course right so i think sort of these are certain precautions which you will need to take care when you are applying for your transcripts and all just ensure that they are in the sealed envelope some other team will be there to support you end to end we have over 7000 students today and close to 5000 students in cpa itself so you can just imagine we have gone through all these phases since last 6 7 years it's not the first time we are starting there are a lot of institutes which have just started see Uh, zaki is it only me who lost the connection uh i'm so sorry there is some technical error at sri palsar's end so uh, he'll be right back in certain time I'm so sorry for the inconvenience once again. Please give us some time, so we'll join join us back shortly.
Uh, meanwhile, I would like to address few of the queries. I just wanted to inform you that this session is more about knowing about the opportunities and scope of US CPA and CMA. So I I understand that many of you are getting back to us requesting for the eligibilities. So it is please understand. Can everybody please go on mute? Hey, yeah, sorry, Anuya. I think I lost a bit. Connectivity. Recording in no issue, progress. sir. Okay, am I audible to everyone? I'm so sorry, actually. I just lost the connectivity. Yes, sir, we can hear you now. Actually, my baby kind of switched off the internet. Sorry for that, everyone. Yes, guys. Uh, okay, so uh, yes, Saurabh, uh, did I answer that question? I'm so sorry yes, for sir, you have answered my question. Thanks a lot. So Thank again, you. I'll just tell you that be careful in the transcripts, but the team is there to guide you on step by step. So we have overall a lot of students here. So uh, you don't need to worry on all those processes. You just need to sit and start studying. Uh, you're studying, your uh, passing and placing will be taken care by Simander. Your job is to just sit and study. That's all. Makes sense. Thank you so much, Saurabh. Yes, Zaki. Next. Ayushi, please go ahead. Zaki, can you just... Ayushi there? Ayushi, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Good evening. Am I audible? Yes, Ayushi. Uh, sir, I'm a BCom graduate and I was... Uh thinking to pursue a US CMA. So I would like to know about the opportunities and uh, like how is US CMA different from the Indian CMA? Like uh, Indian CMA is more about uh, cost accountant. But uh, is it the same for the US CMA? Like what are the opportunities I would get uh, after cracking my US CMA course? So what have happened, Ayushi, right? Hua kya hai ki the cost accounting have gone to complete transformation. As you might have seen, the Indian CMA also have added technology and all those things. So nowadays, the designations which are coming up is not financial analysts. They are coming as technology analyst, right? This is what they are expecting from you. So the US CMA is very advanced of, uh, I would say, a cost management accounting qualification because it covers technology, it covers data analytics, blockchain, it covers the, uh, it is much more specialized and appealing to the corporates. You don't have 20 subjects. You have only subjects which are much appealing to the corporates. Does it make sense, Ayushi? So see, I might read accounting. I might read direct tax. I might read cost accounting. I might read management accounting. But are you doing all those things in when you join a company, Ayushi? What do you I think? Know. You will do only one thing. If you're joining a MNC, right? It is always about specialization. I mean, even a chartered accountant also will specialize in direct tax. Either he will specialize in indirect tax or either he will specialize in audit or something. He cannot do all the things together, right? That's yes, the sir. basic science behind this CPA and CMA qualification of US. So what US does is it makes it more specialized. You will study subjects only which matter in the corporates, right? So that's why they have only two sections. So there are only two subjects in CMA. Right, like in Indian CMA, you have around 20 subjects. US CMA is shorter in duration. There are only two books which you need to study and you're done with it. Now, people ask, Yeh kya hai, sir, do subject karte pass ho jate, char subject karte pass ho jate CPA mein. It does it really have value? This is a problem uh, with our mindset is we think that if it is studying, we need to study for 10, 20 years. We need to study for five years, six years. We need to study so much of garbage. That's not the idea of Western uh, education, right? Ayushi, so they are much more specialized. They are more appealing. They actually test what is relevant, what is being there, which is relevant for the corporates. And that is why the US CMA and US CPA has been much in demand because they are much relevant to the US companies. And they are the ones which are also updating their content, right? We still didn't add our ICI getting technology updated in their curriculum and everything is going in a tech way, right? Everything is going automation way. Uh, all our people are going into technology more. And that's where I think the Indian content is still lacking the technology element and all. So in the content wise, I would say the US content is better. I would say US CMA is better in, in terms of their sheer content and their way of testing. In opportunities wise, I would say Indian CMA is better. Just because I'm say, uh, uh, teaching US CMA, I would not say that US CMA 
uh, is better than Indian CMA, right? I used to say that would be misguiding the students. So I want yes. to be very transparent to you because Indian CMA gets a lot of jobs in government companies like ONGC, IOC, and all these things. US CMAs are not even recognized there, right? If you are going for a job in Indian company in India, you will not get any opportunities with US CMA. But if you are going into a US based company like Infesco, uh, Wells Fargo, right? No Artis. Right, all uh, virtues are so where we are placing all our candidates, right? And all be uh, so. What I'm trying to tell you is there are a lot of US based companies here in India which are hiring like anything, and that's what makes it US CMA more popular. There are a lot of institutes who are doing US CMA, but they are not able to place. But I usually in our case we are very much connected with a lot of corporates, uh, and that's where we place them, right? So the placement is always a question mark in US CMA course. But we do it because of our connections only. It is not like you'll have campus placement here or where you'll go out and you'll get a job. I want to be very honest and transparent in this manner, right? So that's where I would say I usually U S C M is better. And I would say, along with a B Com, an additional qualification is always very good when you're going to the corporate. Then to be just be a B Com. Same yes, goes for the people who are working seven eight years in corporate without a qualification. I have never seen a BCom or an MBA becoming a CFO without a professional qualification. A professional certification is mandatory, whether be it be CPA, CMA, CA, CFA, or whatever it is. Professional qualification is mandatory. Then being just being a BCom or MBA from a distance college or university doesn't make sense, Ayush. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, next, Akshata. Zaki, can we unmute Akshata there? Uh, Amitabh, Amitabh Agosh, Zaki, can you keep unmuting a lot of them because a lot of them are have raised their hands. Yeah, good evening, uh, Shubal sir. Am I uh, audible? Yes, yes, you are audible, Amit. Yes, uh, Shubal sir. My question is that we were hearing about the strategies by the different uh, candidates who have passed the CPA, right? So my my question is that we have four subjects, and each subject has its own nuances, right? So, from your experience, what should be the strategy for a new joiner when he's starting the US CPA in terms of taking the sequence of the subject? Like, as Jigar so said, Pandas, audit... normally what happens? Right? You start after. Uh, can you mute all of them? Especially Ravi Kumar, can you mute Zaki? Yeah, thank you. So, what happens, uh, Amitabh? Right. So, you start off whenever you are registering for any course, you start off with a subject which you like the most. because the reason right. is the most difficult thing in any professional course is not the course it's not the institute it's the own mind right because to start off something you need a lot of will power to start studying because the first subject when you start the first paper page when you study you need lot of uh, work because a lot of them have not touched the book since ages here they are starting off studying after a long period of time of they just started it so the start is very important so you start off with a subject which you like the most when you have the interest you'll always study that more does it make sense amit up so you like accounting or you have read accounting in the past so you start with par first you have read right. audit before you are working in audit so i think audit would be a better subject to start off with because you are already you have experience in audit now you already like b c i t you like technology you like corporate governance you like uh, financial management stock market and also b c would be an easier subject Right among all the four BC is the easier subject to start off with. So for a for a working professional, normally they start off with BC first and then they start off with audit, FAR, and all. And considering among all the four, FAR is the huge subject. It's the highest volume based subject because it has a lot of chapters. So typically people tend to start either FAR first or BC first. But I would suggest you apart from that, you start with a subject which you like the most or which you have read any time in the past. that would make you going and that would at least make you open the books because half of them registers the course but they don't write the exam are you getting it amit so i am yes, saying yes. that you start with a subject which you like most and start off with one hour one and a half hour take baby steps don't do heroics and study 17 hours 18 hours in a day which will not happen from day one right, right. you will need to kind of practically set that up very nicely and then start off with slow and steady one hour two hours consistently every day no we are trying to reconnect so just give us allow us some time so that sir reconnects
So meanwhile, I would like to take a uh, take forward uh, the session with the eligibility questions that most of most of the students are posting on the chat windows and Q and A session. So basically, in order to pursue US CPA, you need to have 120 credits to sit for the examination. So these credits are given to you based on the educational qualification that you have post completing your 12th standard. So uh, it is difficult for me to right now tell you whether you're available, uh, whether you're eligible or not, because we need to screen your documents to confirm that. So I would request you to get in touch with our counselors. I've, I've been dropping the contact number of our uh, Samanda education and as well as email ID. Whatever queries you have, please drop it. We will definitely get back to you. We will assign a counselor who would be taking you to end to end process. Yes, sir is back. Yes, I'm so sorry. Actually, we are having a lot of disturbances here today. Yes, please go ahead, guys. Uh, Mohit, I've just unmuted you. Please go ahead. Hello. Yes, Mohit, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening. Am I audible too? Yes, yes, you're audible, Mohit. Uh, yes, sir. so my question is that how would like what would be the role of Simandar in this whole journey of CMA and C CPA? Like apart from studies, how would uh, Simandar help in uh, would play would play their role uh, at the end of the CMA and CPA course, like in job opportunities and guiding the students? Okay, so Mohit, what happens, right? Uh... So first of all, thank you so much, Amitabh, for asking that question. And I'm moving to Mohit because there was some disturbance again here and there. Uh, so Mohit, what happens here is, right, so at Samandar, we have our live classes, we have our placements, we have our, uh, so your end-to-end, -end, yeah, in case of CPA, we kind of uh, support in transcripts and all, but in case of USCMA, we support you with live classes. We support you with recorded lectures in case if you miss any of the classes, we have our telegram study groups where you can keep asking the questions and keep interacting there. So in that way, we can support you end to end. Apart from that, we have our separate placement team where we groom, uh, groom you uh, from start to end and kind of ensure that you are placed. See, for our education institute, passing and placing, these are the only two things which we do and that's what we will be doing, Mohit, from our end. But end of the day, you just need to sit and study. That is also very important, right? Apart from our lectures, apart from the MCQs and all, you will need to practice every day and devote certain period of time. In that way, only you would kind of uh, clear the exam. Is that clear? Uh, yes, sir. that is pretty clear to me. So uh, another thing I wanted to add that there might be students which uh, belong to the like uh, BCom or uh, business administration background. But they haven't worked like in finance role, so finance role or any other kind of any other type of this kind of role accounting or this kind of. Uh, so how would uh, like you guys help in that case? So uh, we have our basics of accounting lectures more for the people who are not familiar with accounting or joining accounting for the very first time, right? I mean, or who are reading accounting for the very first time. So we have our basics of accounting lectures where we'll teach them from detail from start from the journal entry, from the ledger and all those things. So that is the way we will guide them from start to end. So in that way, you don't need to worry. Even if, even if you are from non-accounting background or you are an engineer itself, still you can pass the exam, I would say, because we had a BTEC people passing CPA. I don't find any reason why you can't pass CMA with a non-accounting background. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for asking, uh, answering my question. Thank you, Mike. Yes, Jashan, go ahead. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so this question is in uh, somewhat continuation with what Aman said and uh, a bit more additional to that. So I am uh, I am a BCom graduate with an MBA finance and a CFA charter and, and almost 12 years of experience in the field of fp and business finance. So I'm currently heading this function in my organization. However, uh, as you said, I mean, uh, this is the management accounts are the one preferred for CFO role. Uh, but in Indian context, what I have observed is that uh, for a CFO role, no doubt, seek that the person should be familiar with all the roles. So when I say all the roles, it's not just the uh, decision making part of it. However, the technical aspect that is accounting, taxation, compliance as well. 
so if someone uh, wants to transition or move to or uh, start their journey towards a cfo role you know a target towards a cfo position so how do you suggest that cpa would be a help in that from a indian or even a us uh, organization perspective so i think jashan uh, either of the qualification are good cpa or cma if you are going on the path of cfo jashan uh, but having said that a qualification will only make you to enter into the organization your experience the way you perform in the organization will have more say than your qualification itself see i'm just a chartered accountant and i can i cannot go to the organization and tell i'm a ca and make me cfo doesn't work like that right it, you will have to work a lot you will have to ensure that you are proactive your attitude your willingness to learn your willingness to take responsibilities take more uh, uh, what do you say participation in their other profiles that would help you to become eventually become cfo now jashan what happens in many companies they themselves will rotate you across all the hello uh, so in other companies you your need to talk to your manager and tell them that i want to work in this profile i want in that file so they right in that way you can handle all the functions together yeah hello yeah yeah, yeah. please go on please yeah. go on i can hear yeah. you so in that way you can handle each and every function together and that would really help you actually uh maybe i'll i'll frame it in a, a bit different way so uh, this is no doubt i am even uh, uh, not just heading the business finance or fpna i am also looking at the accounting part of it this was the question was more from technical perspective that you know even even to call for any interviews or obviously we cannot expect that just we having a degree and it will directly go for cpo there's a path there's a journey that needs to be covered up you know but even to call for those positions or to be get to get interviewed for those uh, this is what they seek from a technical perspective so that is what is the question how does cpa uh, will that bridge the gap which they see uh, from a technical end 100% 100% 100 because cpas are well proficient i would say their expertise is us gap and uh, us audit and also 100% on the technical aspect i don't think so that should be a problem at all jashan okay uh, one one another question so us gap and ifrs both are very much in demand no doubt uh, the uh, the us companies uh, uh, usually seek the us gap however in ifrs as i was reading maybe you can correct me on that also ifrs leads the way so uh, does cpa also focuses on ifrs or it is purely from a us gap no, so ifrs is removed from the cpa curriculum so you only have us gap because much of the us gap standards have converged like financial instruments Converse. your asc 606 revenue recognition is very similar to ifrs yeah. 15 842 okay. of leases is very much similar to ifrs 16 so much yeah. of the accounting is converged the us gap and ifrs are similar only except for yeah. few standards which is fine i mean so jason i would say uh, that should not be a problem at all yeah because if even if, uh, if we see indas then it is more likely you know the uh, ifrs converged ifrs so uh, no, that no, is where i was US coming from following the similar lines so i don't think so if you are doing a us gap you are uh, you are giving an indication or a message to the companies that you are very good in ifrs also right okay. so that is the indicative answer okay okay, okay. one last one please uh, one last one this is mainly from the recruitment or the compensation per- per- perspective Uh, mm-hmm. as you said most of the things from the fresher perspective but as i said i am already adding with some years of experience and uh, would say uh, uh, typically already on a on a good a decent uh, you know decent compensation what you quoted from that as compared to that mm-hmm. you know so does that even help i mean does getting a cfa uh, cleared help to grow from those levels as well or how do you see qualification uh, that will make a difference qualification for an experienced person will not lead to any compensation change jashan i want to be very clear and honest here and that's where yeah. the answers normally come from my side jashan just to enroll you i'll tell you if you do cpa after then you will get 10 20 lakhs extra it will not happen because you're already experienced person right if you're a fresher definitely you will have a good package but if you're a experienced professional it will help in designation than compensation i would say okay. you will have a bit slight increase in compensation and all but you cannot expect and i don't want to increase your expectations more that is what i want to be very clear on that okay but designation definitely at leadership level you cannot grow mm-hmm. without a professional qualification 
Okay. Okay. So, I mean, that was the purpose. I also have a CFA charter, as I said. It was MBA finance and a CFA charter. But this time I was looking something more which takes me to a compliance taxation and accounting perspective rather than a CA because a CA this time I cannot be leaving my job to do the articleship. So that is why that is completely out of scope. So just to no, compensate I would, I would that, I suggest I Jashan, something else. In your case, I would strongly suggest for a CPA. I mean, blindly you can go in for CPA. There's no issues whatsoever. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Sujipal. I'll, I'll connect with you further personally for from a bit uh, specific pointers also. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your answers. Mohit. I think we have covered Mohit. Vijay, Kamal. Yes, Vijay. Vijay Kumar, go ahead, please. Yeah. Hi, Shibal, sir. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Am I audible? Yes, Vijay, you are. Yeah. First of all, I would like to thank to Simon and Rishkush for this wonderful session. Sorry for the obstruction because every now and then I'm <laughs> I'm losing the connection. So today there have been so yeah, we can I hope the session yeah, is yeah. going well for everyone. Okay, uh, my question is adding to the Aman and uh, Jaspa uh, Rajpal. Sorry, last one they spoke it now in the same way. So I am also I am MBA uh, finance degree holder with six years of experience. Experience. So I complained to the Indian uh, Indian taxation part. So means from the day one of my professional career, I work for Indian companies only. So I am not interested to join with any MNC like US database apart from the Indian companies. So here my doubt is uh, if I pursue a CPA course. So whether is it possible to get any opportunity in the Indian based companies only or how no, no, Vijay, you will not get any opportunities in Indian based companies. They will uh, CPAs are hired only in the U S based companies operating in India. So you will not be getting any opportunities because please understand, right? They are not having Indian accounting audit at all. Right. Yes. So, but with CPA, you can definitely get opportunities in U S based MNCs or any of the Indian companies listed in New York and U S or UK. In that way, Vijay, you will have great job opportunities. But why am I telling that there are a lot of companies here in India, right? Who are US based and also I don't think so. That should be a challenge. And you already have six years of experience. A CPA definitely would make you. And these days, what is happening is every company wants some investment from outside. So you will have some angel investor coming up and investing in the Indian company. And then again, your CPA qualification will be really in demanding because all the Indian companies today are aspiring to become international. Are you getting it, Vijay? So any day today or tomorrow, your CPA would help you for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Pankaj, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, good first evening. of all, uh, I'll just have, I have, I have two questions. So mm -hmm. first one is uh, at present, I'm working for uh, indirect taxes for APG region. Okay. So uh, doing CPA, will that add uh, value to that? How many years you have been in indirect tax? Uh, it's been, I think, uh, seven to eight years. Uh, seven to eight years in indirect tax. I would rather say an enroll agent than a CPA because you're working in the taxation area specifically, right? And you can only move in the taxes only. So from indirect tax, you can move to direct tax of US or you can work in US tax and all. Mm -hmm. But a CPA, I think, might not add much of a value there is what I'm thinking because you are already seven years experience. In case mm -hmm. if you do a CPA, you will be... I mean, you will still be placed uh, by us, but it will be like a fresher only Pankaj, a 10 lakhs, 11 lakhs package. So I don't mm -hmm. know what is your current package. If, if, uh, if, if 10 lakhs or 11 lakhs can, I think, help you around, then definitely do for go for a CP and we can place you later. Because the end of the day, Pankaj, we want to place also, right? Mm -hmm. We just don't want you to pass and we want to get you a good job also. So yeah, that's at present what I'm working with one of big four. So uh... Yeah, you can move internally only after EA or a CPA. In that big four to move you within their GDS location or the division. Mm -hmm. And it's where you can move in around. I don't think so. That should be a problem. But you should have a professional qualification first to show your interest to move to that profile also, right? Right. Yeah. And the other question, like, you know, after joining, say, if I go for CPA course, so uh, how easy or how difficult it would be um, considering the working hours, like crazy working hours and all? No, no. So you have uh, heard from Sistri, right? 25 days when she have cleared. So there are a lot of working professionals also. Actually, I joined late. So I, I missed that part. So oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so she came in early first and she spoke about those uh, first five, 10 minutes. But having said that, even the working person, there are many of them who are passing, but they pass, they take around nine to 10 months. So you put a goal of around 12 months to pass the CP exam. There are only four subjects, Pankaj, unlike CA, 
there are 20 or uh, CMA and all. CPA has a uh, lesser subjects, right? There are only four and that's why it is very easy to pass along with a full-time job. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, so CPA uh, should be a good idea to go, yes, go for it. Yes. Okay. okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Oshan, Oshan, Nivedita, Pratik. Yeah. Hi, good evening, sir. Yes, Oshan, uh, go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, like I am a chartered accountant, I want to pursue CPA, but I got to know one of my friend who is working in Deloitte USA uh, as a chartered accountant with having 2.5 years of experience. Uh, he said directly that you have uh, no benefit of doing CPA as there is no, no benefit in industry. Like industry will see the same if person is a CA or if person is a CA plus CPA, there is no difference between that. So is it actually sir in the industry like whether it is actually added value in my uh, profile after ca so the problem what happens right uh, <clears throat> so ocean so the issue is when you're a ca plus cpa what happens is you get more chances of traveling overseas than a, just being a ca right? so you just imagine if it's a us company here in india right and if they want to hire you after two three years you're a CA plus CPA and you're just a CA. What is the differentiator between you both uh, for me to hire? I hope I'm making sense, Oshan, there. So if I'm just a chartered accountant, I might not be the automatic choice for traveling tomorrow within that company to other locations or expanding it internationally. A CA plus CPA, what it does is it makes you more international. It helps you gaining those international exposure and makes you more competent within the companies in India also. So there are companies like American Express, there are companies like Virtuza, Investco, right? There are companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and all these companies. So they prefer a CPA also as a strong added-on qualification. Having said that, what your friend also has said is not completely wrong, right? Just with a charter accountancy also, it is much recognized. It's not like industry takes CA plus CPA as a better thing, but I think they would be preferred more. That's what I can tell you, Ocean. So, a uh, better to have always an international degree. What you if you want to travel outside? CA is not at all better. Making sense? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, one more question. Uh, like, uh, if I have to do my own practice, uh, so uh, based on US CP, can I do it in India? Like, uh, yes, hundred percent. You can open your own firm here uh, as a US CP. Yes, you can bring the US work here to India. You can do the outsourcing, right? Like other companies are doing. So you cannot attest it or you cannot sign it, but you can definitely file the tax returns and all. You can do the private companies audit here. Sitting, we have already a lot of companies in Ahmedabad who are doing it. So you're not the first one who's thinking about this. There are tons of companies in Ahmedabad, CPA firms are already doing their own firm and bringing the work here to India. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, like other than attestation and audit work, I can do any other work. Of yes, yours. yes. Even taxation also you can do. Only the audit of listed companies, anyways, you will not get that, right? Yeah. I mean, not to discourage you, Ocean, but you know, right? Google yeah, will yeah. not come to you for signing. I hope that they will come, but not in immediate term, right? So yeah, you will need that, 12 years or minimum 15, 20 years of experience to get the listed clients audit. Okay. Yeah, but I can uh, get unlisted clients. Like yes, yes. There yes. is opportunity. Like I have just want yes. to know the opportunity. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay, thank you, sir. But That's all. The best way to start, Oshan, is if you're looking for entrepreneurship, you must first work in a CPA firm, like in Ahmedabad, in a smaller CPA firm, where you can learn the work, how they bring the clients from US to India. So that's the way first you must learn. Be under okay. some CPA firm for two, three years, then try to open your own firm. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure, sir. Uh, Kamal Bhatt. Hello, am I audible, yes. sir? Good evening. Yes, Kamal, go ahead. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, sir, my story is that uh, I am uh, graduated in 2018. I completed my BCom, and actually after that I started working in uh, brokerage uh, firms, sir. So I am actually in dealing, like uh, support, advisory, and all. So that is my function. And uh, uh, meantime, I have also completed my MCom, sir, through uh, distance learning. Uh, Mumbai University. So, and uh, I am a, very easy. yeah. You uh, you cannot go to the higher levels or to the manager, senior manager without a professional qualification. It's very simple. A BCom will and MCom will not take you there. A professional qualification like a CPA or a CMA or EA for that matter 
दीज आर ऑल गुड क्वालिफिकेशन टू टेक यू टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल राइट कमल राइट नो वॉट यू डूइंग इन द ब्रोकरेज वर्म इज ऑल द बैक एंड वर्क ऑल द सपोर्ट रिलेटेड वर्क यूर नॉट डूंग वर्क यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनी डिसीजन मेकिंग वर्क अ प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन विल गेट यू दैट गुड प्रोफाइल्स where you can enjoy the work also right now i can understand that you are not enjoying your work so this qualification right. will help you to enjoy the work and you will get a good uh, uh, what do you say skills also that would help right right sir actually i am 27 years old so uh, will it will uh, pursuing cp and completing it will will it help me sir yes yes i will place you don't worry i'll give you guarantee also <laughs> don't worry i can give you as great job opportunities kindly with the qualification thank you ओके थैंक यू सर यस निवेदिता प्लीज गो यस सर सर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग एक्चुअली आई आई डिड माय बीकॉम ग्रेजुएशंस बैक इन 2018 एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वेंट फॉर सीए एंड आई हैव बीन ट्राइंग फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बट आई कुडंट डू इट I had to drop anyhow uh, this uh, year only. I dropped and I am thinking of pursuing C C P A. I already took the classes, but the thing is that I'm a bit scared now, as because uh, I have been uh, I couldn't go for C A for a long time. So is it a so, good thing for me? No, no, Nivedi, go blindly for C P A. I think already we had uh, Jigar. I don't know if you have attended Jigar. He was there in today's yes, session. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, that's out. what. Uh, he asked C P A. Got job in Deloitte at ten lakhs or whatever packages, right? I don't want to mention his package, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Already people are doing it. They are passed and they got job also. So your thinking right now will not make uh, the things more faster. What I would suggest is go for a C P A, pass faster, get placed. and then pursue your dream of ca who is telling you not to do ca later right but just get settled in the career right a cpa will help you set down and don't get bothered with your past failures at are me to ca me fail hui to what is the chance that i might even fail here also right if you think negative then only negative things happen and i think it will multiply also or i would say try multiply as well right you think positive you have gone to a new course you have gone to a good institute go take care of end to end you just sit and study that's all and uh, ca ka badla cpa mein le lena nivedita get some 1995s and ensure that you have taken entire revenge of your ca course okay thank you sir sir i just want to know one more thing that uh, is there any scope of i mean cpa in uh, stock market area or some any other area dekho stock market mein koi course ki zarurat nahi hai nivedita matlab dekho uh, i can also go in today ek मतलब इवन विदाउट एनी क्वालिफिकेशन इवन यूर टेंथ पास ऑल्सो यू कैन गो टू स्टॉक मार्केट एंड डू ट्रेडिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू हैव क्या बोलते रोकड़ा पैसा रहना चाहिए बस मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए निवेदिता राइट सो सीपीए और समथिंग इज जस्ट टू एनरोल एल डेल हाँ निवेदिता यू कैन वर्क इन स्टॉक मार्केट दैट इज अ रॉन्ग वे ऑफ टॉकिंग टू द स्टूडेंट राइट दैट्स नॉट द वे गाइड शुड टॉक राइट A sales person can talk like that, but not me, right? So stock market me, oh, sir, zarurat nahi hai. You can just have money and you can invest and you can straight away start trading from tomorrow itself. No one will stop you. But a professional qualification, if you are telling that, sir, will they will CPA help him help me in doing the trade accounting for investment banking for US accounting role for Standard yes, Chartered Investment Bank, J.P. Morgan? Then the answer is definitely yes. You need an accountant to account for the trades to settle the trades. to do some equity research to go into the investment banking i think cpa definitely helps you right you have a lot of uh, ibs here who are there ssc guidelines so they help them in the compliance part in the accounting part for executing trades and all i think neither cfa nor cpa none of them helps you would need experience first right and uh, for that you need to be a top mba and all okay okay sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you very much Okay, Anmol, go ahead. Hello. Yes, Anmol. Yeah, Anmol here. Anmol here from Pune, Maharashtra. I am here for my son, who is has completed twelfth in uh, this year. Uh, as I, the discussion is going on, there are so many people are there participant who is willing to do CMA. Uh, they are experienced. So, is there any training? Uh, classroom is different for the newcomers and the experienced people, or will he enroll in the same uh, along with the people who is having the huge experience? so amol uh, uh, what we do is sir we actually club both of them in one class only that's where they can learn how the corporates work how a working professional 
do their job and also that's what we want them to mingle with that why do you want them to separate because what happens when you do that right you don't tend to give them that exposure to the corporate today see so many of them are going to ca coaching and all after they pass ca they don't get job amol sir what, what why that happens is because they have never learned how the corporate works they don't know what is there in the corporate what is business finance what is corporate finance ek company mein finance ka function chalta kaise hai right ek big four mein kya kya verticals hai tax hai audit hai they have absolutely no idea because they have never interacted with working okay. professional audience they have always interacted with their peer group so i am of that opinion हमारी विचारधारा ऐसी है कि यू शुड हैव अ मिक्स ऑफ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल्स एंड द स्टूडेंट्स टुगेदर दैट्स हाउ दे विल गेट और कैन दे विल लर्न फ्रॉम ईच अदर आई होप दैट क्लेरिफाइड यस थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू यस अमन गो अहेड अमन दीपक आशीष यस प्लीज यस आई जस्ट वन मोर क्वेश्चन इफ टाइम परमिट्स एक्चुअली there is lot of work which is coming from you know the us com- in an outsourced model a uh, lot of companies pick work from in all sectors and they do even the fpna work in india so uh, these big fours also i'm not very clear on it but i think lot of big fours also are trying their hand in this field as well if you have some idea on what e- if ey gds or any wing does this work and if you feel that a career can be built in in this line In the KPO so, sector, last yeah. two years, maybe we are only placing in EY, Deloitte, and KPMG and PwC. They are doing this work only since pandemic only. Entire work have been outsourced to India. Previously, twenty percent used to be outsourced. Now, seventy to sixty to seventy percent. Deloitte CEO have announced to Prime Minister Modi that they will hire one lakh people because they are expanding their outsourcing to next level, right? So that's how I would say that this is a very very. a good place to be in with now with a cpa qualification this would really help actually i don't think so that should be a problem at all i got you okay and uh, the other question is that apart from these qualifications which are uh, essential are you there yeah i have not heard you can you please repeat that yes i so i was saying that uh, apart from these qualifications which are very helpful and uh, definitely required uh, what are the other uh, manners in which one can actually get value to the company like how can one actually build a profile like other than qualifications what are the skill sets and what are the like you know in the new age what It's are very the- easy, right aman you are bringing a us work to india your qualification is the only parameter right so a cpa has us accounting us tax knowledge so they are your automatic choice right so that is one qualification apart from that you can work on to do some certifications some industry basis certification of data analytics rpa robotic process automation because a lot of the audit is getting automated with bots and all so i think rpa is a very good uh, place i mean a certification to do and block uh, and data analytics we also have our data analytics training wing that's another where we are actually after who all are passing cpa we are actually educating them on the data analytics and getting that certificate from ai cpa so that are some of the things which you can keep doing it and stay updated with the technology because that is where all the big fours are looking for to have a people with a knowledge of both accounting as well as technology does it make sense aman yes it does can somebody from simandar throw some light uh, on these uh, like i got that data analytics course from ai cpa but apart from that if you work in that line also uh, can somebody from simandar uh, share what uh, what what exactly so simandar supports with these yeah, kind sure. of yeah so sure we have our faculties from shana charter bank who does a live cases so we cover in the data analytics course tableo uh, power bi excel right the basic sql language because most of them don't understand technology itself so we start off with statistics and mathematics basics like we do in cpa and cma we start off with accounting because many of them are not from the accounting background so we start with basics first same we go in with data analytics we start with statistics and basics of uh, mathematics and all once they do it then we go in with our uh advanced way of uh training them teaching them making the dashboards and all i think anuya from my team can share you those details post the session amal 
that will be very helpful our website aman as well uh, there are some uh, prospectors and all given in the samandar website you can go in on the data and text page and check yeah if out. i can connect with somebody from samandar on particularly this point sure. uh, i will be, that will be good right anil you can just share the details to aman for this session okay thank you yes sir satya please go ahead satya somya dev go with cpa satya you have already have example here of jigar and all there are yes sir yes i was no uh, blindly there is nothing to ask satya you must ask how uh, to crack the exam not about should okay. i go or should i not and being okay. with a ca background i don't think so it is so tough for you to pass also you can pass easily and then do ca also next year who is stopping you you are at very young age i have done ca and cpa and why can't yes, you sir. do multiple qualifications you can easily yeah, pass the exam okay. Okay. So one more doubt is whether suppose as we in the we see in the CA course we will be having multiple amendments uh, coming for each and every year. Yes, yeah, so in Becker added? also in Becker also there are a lot of updates. Every day there is some updates added and the software gets automatically updated. So you don't need to worry about the latest changes and all. Uh, the software gets automatically updated. Okay. And what about the US tax regulation, sir? Is Everything there any amendments? Everything gets automated in the software. So I'll just share my screen. Let me know if you are able to see the screen here. Everyone, yes. just let me know if you are able to see the screen. So same goes in yes, for CMA yeah. also. The similar product which we gave yes. for CPA. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. so here you can see that there is an update column here. So course mm -hmm. updates. So here the PDFs are saved and all. So the amendments, any new changes comes up, they goes into the course updates column here. Here you okay. can save all those things and all, right? Unlike where we used to get from ICI separately, here everything yes. is in one place. So it's more technology based okay. because it's a western way of educating right and then you have the notification here any new changes new updates which comes up any new mcqs which keeps getting added so here they will keep notifying you in the software also so in that way you don't need to worry uh, satya on that okay so whether it is only for the for exam point of view or for completing my course also will uh, entire the course par audit reg and bc you can navigate here with any of the course every course will have certain updates and you will need okay. to keep checking that on a daily basis but every 3 months there are some changes coming up into the curriculum okay. but major changes happen only 6 months once okay okay fine thank you so much ashish please go ahead ashish tyagi uh, hi sir first of all hi. i am following you from uh, past one year and i really want to congratulate congratulate you for all the success in cpa for the students being there and all that Hello, Hi, am I audible? Ashish. Yes, Ashish, go ahead. So, sir, I am uh, just giving you a brief background of me. I am just twenty-three, and I have completed uh, CS. Com I am a company secretary working in PTM right now. So, I am handling all stuff relating to stock exchange compliances and board board related compliances and handling board meetings as well. So, I am really enthusiastic, and I really wanted to go ahead with CK, and that's how I find way back. like a year ago when i started researching about cpa so i just wanted to uh, know should i go for it or what should i do should uh, should this be a ashish, like i really want to think, ashish yeah. ek simple cheez hai tumhara man bol raha hai tumhara dil bol raha hai karo to fir karo ashish ek saal se aap picha kar rahe ho mera right so you are seeing how we are doing the things aisa nahi hai ki first time abhi institute aayi hai ya kuch hai 6 saal se kar rahe hain hum log logon ko place kar rahe hain aap khud follow kar rahe ho mereko ek saal se So you are seeing how you are doing it, how opportunities are going up. Sab tumhare aankhon ke samne is just that you are not getting the will power to enroll fast. Kahi aisa na ho, Ashish. Ab do saal ke baad ye socho, tab tak padri padri hi band ho jaye jahan pe train chal rahi thi, right? So what I'm trying to tell is, you des when you have decided that this is what it is, aisa to nahi hai ki us sharab le rahe ho ya kuch nasha kar rahe ho ya kuch cigarette pi rahe ho, right? End of the day, it's a course. I agree. Agar aap kar bhi liye, chalo opportunities nahi bhi hai. at least you have a professional qualification which is recognized in the world not in india aicpa is the largest accounting body in the world with 7 lakh 50000 members and doing a us chartered accountancy in itself is an achievement forget about the opportunities ye to main students ko isliye bolta hu kyunki sabko kya hai padhai ke baad kuch paise milenge ya nahi milenge that is their thought process 
right so that's why i had to use that kind of tone when i'm talking to them but ashish to be honest the qualification itself is very respected like chartered accountants is as world may first is cpa then comes chartered accountants in terms of member crowd in terms of ai cpa ka jo influence hai and i'm the respect and the community which demands right cpa mm-hmm. is highly respected right in that way that answers your question that should i do or should i not should i do from semandar or should i do from other institute that i leave it up to you ashish because wo ek individual ka perspective hai usko kaun si institute achhi lagti hai ab dekho yaar थोड़े लोगों को शक्ल अच्छी लगती है फैकल्टी की नहीं भाई ये अच्छा है दिखने में तो इसके पास जाओ थोड़े लोगों को ऑफिस अच्छी लगती है यार ऑफिस मस्त है तो इसके पास जाओ थोड़े लोगों को लगता है कि टीचर सही है यानी गाइड्स प्रॉपरली देन गो इन विथ हेम सो व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग इज यू डू वॉट इज राइट फॉर यू बट यू डू इट वेदर बी दिस और दैट स्टार्ट ऑफ सी पी डू इट ये इंस्टीट्यूट नहीं तो कोई दूसरा इंस्टीट्यूट या खुद से भी कर लो बट करो वाई एम टेलिंग यू दैट इंडिया इज गोइंग मोर ग्लोबल देन लोकल आशीष नाउ कमिंग टू योर रिस्पेक्टिव एक्सपीरियंस you are in paytm you are into compliance and all a cpa what it does is it makes you move to standard chartered goldman sachs morgan stanley because you have already been into that uh, compliances related and the secretarial compliances related rule it is not demand hai because all these companies are listed in singapore also much of yeah. the investment banks operate from singapore to so ssc ke compliances ke profile forensics ke profile right audit ke profile will open up for you ashish and that way cpa will help you and you will remember me after you get placed in there okay thank you thank you sir, so much, sir. Uh, just wanted to have add on i am not having any question on uh, like i can i can really put my heart on to it but just is ki uh, my the question which i was having was ki uh, is cpa is should i go for it or like i was always having that question mark with me that and so, 10% you should go for it that is my answer be in your profile to 110% okay thank you so much thank you yes somya dev go ahead yes sir sir uh, first of all congratulations on the way you have taken as uh, i mean you are conducting the entire cpa curriculum in india and abroad i mean for all the students sir uh, i mean heartiest congratulations from my end sir uh, mm-hmm. just to give a, a very short background about myself like i am a bcom honors from calcutta university i am ca inter so when i was struggling in ca final initially i skipped to uh, acca and i've completed the same but now sir uh, i have uh, i mean in fact i'm also working in pwc sdc kolkata private limited in assurance profile but sir currently i'm working in uh, uk uh, territory in assurance but sir uh, sometimes what happens is that in the department in which i'm working they also allot us with the us and uh, canada related works in in assurance so there i felt that always in our training materials also in our offices we have uh, stuffs related to us gap and sox so there i felt that uh, i mean i should be pursuing cpa usa but sir actually now uh, I, i mean now that after i have cleared acca i have a strong urge to uh, come back to indian say final so, so so sir first of all i have a confusion like which course to continue like should i go for ca india or should i go, or should i go for cpa usa first of all and secondly sir if i go for cpa usa sir my question is like uh, can it be completed within uh, uh, i mean 12 to 15 months given that i have i've got a very stringent work schedule because as you know i mean in big fours we work for assurance we have busy seasons throughout the year so sir so somya so somya just because of the paucity of time i'll be completing this because there are other people also so somya first is pwc sdc we are tied up right so pwc sponsors for cpa qualification so first try to understand whether you are falling in that sponsoring policy or not because we work with pwc so we are one of the registered partners of pwc sdc so if you are working in pwc sdc assurance talk to the lnd team and tell that i want to plan to join samandar so they will sponsor your course from start to end if that's the uh division which you are working in second thing is uh now having said that you are in assurance you have done acca the problem is acca ka utna demand nahi hai jitna cpa ka rehta hai india mein and it will go up next year onwards acca bhi the outsourcing will happen from uk because they are following us slowly but i would suggest that cpa you can definitely go in with because you are working the audit profile only tomorrow agar pwc sdc se tum yahan se india se <clears throat> if you want to move to us and all it's it's really a great choice Up now with BCom and CA inter you cannot be sufficient, right? You would need another professional qualification in that way. I would say CPA would help, right? CA का तो problem is it's very detailed. अब अब तुम्हारे पास वो motivation है. Time का problem हो रहा है sir. Along with a full time job, I would say it's next to impossible. 
I would not say that it's not possible, but it's next to impossible is what I say. I think CPA is a better choice. Four subjects you can finish in 12 months. Easily you can finish off the CPA course. Then going in for a CA India. I mean, see, we are going more international. Then I would suggest that CPA is a better choice than CA. Right now for you with coming with a full-time job and all and uh, considering that rat ke teen bhi bach jate kabhi kabhi audit ke uh, deadlines yes, mein. That happens. That season, happens. So I don't think so. Technically it is not possible is what I think. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Alok Tripathi, please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Yes, Alok, please go ahead. Actually, sir, uh, I am an audit profession in uh, a finance company. And my okay. qualification is uh, BCom and MCom. And I also done uh, FRM from IIM Kashipur. It is executive course. But uh, I want to my career in audit only. So I am confusing in uh, US CPA and CIA. What is the actually uh, best for me? Is, Alo, is... go ahead with uh, CPA first. Because... ये क्या होता है सीपीए में ना ऑडिट का वर्सेटाइलिटी ज्यादा रहता है नाउ यू कैन गो इनटू एक्सटर्नल ऑडिट यू कैन गो टू इंटरनल ऑडिट आल्सो आलू सीआईए में क्या है इट विल बी मोर टुवर्ड्स इंटरनल ऑडिट तो इफ योर पैशन इज मोर टुवर्ड्स इंटरनल ऑडिट कि आपको सिर्फ इंटरनल ऑडिट में ही काम करना है लाइफ टाइम तक देन गो विद अ सर्टिफाइड इंटरनल ऑडिट कोर्स डज इट मेक सेंस आलू यस सर आई अंडरस्टैंड योर थॉट बट आई आई एम नाउ आई एम करेंटली आई थिंक आई हैव फाइव ईयर एक्सपीरियंस इन इंटरनल ऑडिट and i am enjoy with my work also ah and then if you are enjoying alok wo bahut important point hai then go with cia so samandar have certified internal audit course also you can get in touch with our counselors and register for the cia course instead of cpa okay okay so thank cpa you. mein i don't think so you need a cpa to get uh, success in cia right because you can go uh, i mean you uh, don't need a cpa to get succeeded in an internal audit profession cia is more than sufficient to go to the leadership level so i think you can go in with cia only okay sir uh, just one more uh, thing i want to clear after cia i can uh, do uh, i can also do cpa usa oh 100% alok no uh, no one will stop you alok and what it happens is right a cpa plus cia will take you to investment banks internal audit क्योंकि आपको पता है राइट देर आर लॉट ऑफ ब्रांचेस इन इंटरनल ऑडिट आल्सो सो वन इज एन इंटरनल ऑडिट वन इज रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एंड आल्सो यू कैन मूव अराउंड एंड प्ले अराउंड विद दोस प्रोफाइल्स विद द सीपी एंड द सीआईए बोथ ओके 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 थैंक यू सर थैंक यू आलोक यस समीक्षा सिद्धेश गोएड एंड मोहम्मद यूसुफ और मुजफ्फर नवाज ओके हेलो सर यस समीक्षा गोएड Yes, actually, I'm a BCom graduate and uh, doing PGDM currently. But I'm moving to USA next year. So please guide me how to do it with the Indian certificates. No Indian certificate, Samiksha. You're going to US do CPA straight away. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I want to do the CPA, but how to do it with the Indian certificates? Can I do it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like... You can do just with the BCom. You can get in touch with Anuya and uh, Rashi who are there in the session today. Just put it in the chat okay. window. Your number. to host and yes. participate she can coordinate and she can register with you okay, okay. so thank you so much sir hmm? and coming to now after doing bcom and then doing cpa better also opt for a masters later i mean that would also okay. really help you the career because you are just a bcom and you are very young yes. right now cpa plus masters would also help you theek okay? hai okay but first do cpa and get a job and then do a masters that would actually fund your masters in us okay correct yes thank you so much Okay, next. Hello, uh, Mohammad. Yes, Mohammad. Go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, uh, I'm a B- BCom graduate. I work in, even in a multinational company, but then I quit the job because the job was not re- relevant. So I'm planning to pursue uh, CMA, uh, but mm-hmm. my parents are not letting. They are asking me to go with masters like MBA or something like that. They uh, they are uh, uh, thinking that CMA is like just another certificate course. So. देखो भाई नवाज एमबीए में यू वुड हैव टू स्पेंड फोर लैक्स माता जी और पिता जी को बोलो कि भाई चार लाख से अच्छा आई वुड स्पेंड और वन वन एंड हाफ लैख एंड आई गेट अ जॉब आफ्टर यूएससीएम सो आई वुड से दैट बिकॉज़ एन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन एमबीए चार साढ़े चार 
लाख डालने के बाद भी यू डोंट गेट एनी जॉब्स यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ हाउ द एमबीए अनलेस यू आर डूइंग एन एमबीए फ्रॉम आई एम और आई एस बी एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स और एक्सएल आर आई जमशेदपुर और एस पी जे एन एंड ऑल राइट वे द फीस इज अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन लैक्स बट नॉर्मल टिपिकल स्मॉल एम बी एल्सो भी चार से साढ़े चार लाख का तो खर्चा है ही सो इट्स बेटर टू डू ए प्रोफेशनल कोर्स और मुंशी जी तो हर जगह चाहिए अकाउंटिंग जॉब्स आर एवरीवेयर स्ट्रेटेजिक जॉब्स आर नॉट एवरीवेयर राइट सो इन दैट वे आई वुड से सी एम एज अ बेटर चॉइस देन एम बी ए नवाज जमेंट रिपोर्ट a uh, certification that is licensing part so will my uh, mis uh, profile will be considered or i will verify it be... don't worry your license i am myself a licensed cpa i will verify your experience i will sign on your experience don't worry that is considered that's a relevant experience ek cfo ke liye aapka jo current profile is very very important profile right so mis is the most important profile among all so that's a definitely a relevant profile and i can verify your experience as well okay because that was my confusion like uh, should i go for cpa or shall i consider cma because i was uh-huh. much inclined towards cpa but just the concern was with cpa because, because dekho kya hoga straight street mein aage jaake you can move around the profiles also abhi mis se baad mein dusre profile mein jana hai financial reporting and all siddesh cpa mm-hmm. would play a better role agar but aapko future mein lag raha hai ki sir mere ko mis mein hi rehna hai business finance mein then go in with cma only okay 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 thank you sir hello thank you sir. भानु गो है भानु प्रसाद और प्रतीक गुप्ता हेलो सर माय नेम इज प्रतीक या प्रतीक गो आई एम अ सेमी क्वालिफाइड चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट एंड आई हैव डन मास्टर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड आई हैव ड्रॉप्ड माय सीए फाइनल सो नाउ आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू लाइक बीबीसी पे कोर्स लाइक एज यू मेंशन टू टेक द रिवेंस सो i will give my best so that i will uh, like clear all those four examination my question is regarding the study material like uh, which is the best study material as you are like uh, study from the blackers material or the gland one is the best one like which one is the best you go pratik we teach from the blackers material because blacker is there in the market since almost 70 years now right but our lectures and all our uh, the way of teaching and all is just not confined to the books right we like going beyond the books because if you tell a person to just stick to the books then you are not doing a right justice being a teacher right so our lectures yeah. our teachers are beyond the books we teach lot of examples which are not there in the material also so our idea is to ensure that you conceptually sound right we just with uh, the material what we select here is the international material only not the local material so there are a lot of institutes who are providing local material and that doesn't really work that's the point. yeah yeah actually the problem is that the language is actually the american one and we are actually oh yeah so that's why you have similar language lectures. so pratik language is american banda to indian hi hai right so i am there all yeah. the faculties are all indian lectures so you don't need to worry you can comfortably attend all our live classes our recorded lectures our telegram study groups you can easily uh, be rest assured on the lectures part we are really good in that in fact becker ke book mein to mera naam bhi hai second page pe sripal jain and suraj lakode you can see in the cma textbook right so hum log ne khud ne wo thode textbook bhi design kiye hai becker ke right so don't worry i think you are in the right place thank you yeah actually i am working in an mnc in an outsourcing company for the us client so i work for many cpa firms as well so i thought about this course and then i searched it out which is the bank coaching institute so i heard about uh, sigmander so 
that's why i attended this seminar today so to clear some doubts so most of the doubts are clear the only only thing is about the 75% marks weightage because i i believe like it's not easy to just uh, study on the weekends and get that 75% mark nahi nahi everything is easy provided you study every day not just on weekend i have never mentioned in my session that only weekend every day you need to take out 1 to 1 and a half hour prati and weekend mein just uh, time double karna anyways quantity is not the parameter to decide the success of a qualification right aap itna quality se padhte ho agar aap swami vivekananda ho to ek ghante mein hi pura cpa khatam kar doge right so it depends on the focus and the concentration which you have when you are studying so it's more about quality than quantity pratik ठीक है सो आई डोंट थिंक सो इट्स रियली टफ टू गेट दैट 75 एट एट लीस्ट सीए का जैसा करिकुलम है सीपीए का तो बहुत इजी एग्जाम है आई डोंट थिंक सो इट विल बी वेरी चैलेंजिंग फॉर यू टू पास दैट ओके ओके सो वन कैन गेट 75% मार्क्स इफ ही इज लाइक सिंसियर एंड डेडिकेटली ए शुड डू द स्टडी फॉर द बेसिस ओके यस यस प्रतीक ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रतीक यस अक्षिता सिक्का एलिजिबल and also uh, as i want to settle in canada after 2 3 years so is it worth to go for us cp or us canada no no uh, akshit agar aap cp canada ke sath jaoge to aapko 20 lakh rupaye dene padenge so it's very costly course okay. if you go with us cp anyways you have an mou with uh, ai cp as an mou with cp canada so you get a okay. cp canada also without writing any exam akshita second thing is it's better to do a bridge course along with bcom because uh, sooner or later you would need a 150 credits so yeah, forget so about first division second division parallelly a core uh, bridge program mein ab register karke immediately start the preparations for cpa okay? okay so i would have my 150 credits completed right aaram se i am team will help you with that bridge program details and all and also i have been placed with ey gds okay uh, so to get the license would uh, this experience count 100% i myself will verify your experience you don't need to worry okay, okay thank you so much sir okay uh, next one shahana rupani yes shahana go ahead uh, hello shri pal sir uh, i am a bcom graduate and i am working in supply chain uh, procurement slash p2p from past 7 years i completed my bcom in 2014 and currently i am looking for a profile change and i am interested in doing cpa so how advisable it is to pursue it at this age and at this stage dekho shana ek anuj ka video hai on youtube he has passed cpa at the age of 41 i have placed him in ey so okay. aap pass karo baki ka kaam mere pe chhod do i will do that okay i will place you and all but are you willing to study and pass the qualification that's the question first right second thing is now that you are looking for a career change कहीं ऐसा ना हो आप वहां जाने के बाद फिर कोई चेंज पूछो सो यू बी वेरी रेस्ट एश्योर कि यार मेरे को ये प्रोफाइल में काम करना ही नहीं है सप्लाई चेन का आई वांट टू मूव इन टू कोर फाइनेंस आई वांट टू मूव इन टू टैक्स ऑन ऑर डेट एंड ऑल इज इज दैट द कप ऑफ योर डी देन प्लीज गो एट चाना आई विल सपोर्ट यू अलॉन्ग विद मी माई एंटायर टीम ऑफ हंड्रेड पीपल आर देर सो वी विल एंश्योर दैट जो भी रास्ते में कुछ भी पत्थर आ रहे हो उसको हम लोग निकाल देंगे बट यू नीड टू एंश्योर कि रास्ते पे चलना तो आपको ही है right you will need to take out time and study every day rest other things leave it up to us okay uh okay sir and there will be no issues with the placements right considering i have past 7 years experience in uh, are many simply a first line yeah said you right no problem whatsoever we will place you okay okay sir thank you so makes sense okay uh, girish khatkam yes girish hi sir i am audible yes go ahead girish yeah. sir uh, actually i am working uh, with uh, in a us mortgage for uh, past 6 years so i am uh, planning to think uh, do us cpa so i am already uh, into a tax reviewer just we review the tax uh, 1040 1065 partnerships and one s corps so we are just reviewing so i need to get into the us taxation preparation so for that i need to do a us cpa anyway right 
so you you guys are if i if at all i am doing a us cpa so after completing you will play you will place in the uh, in the uh, placement or else before uh, if any even if it i started from your cemender i got to place देखो गिरीश अपॉर्चुनिटीज है तो हम लोग प्लेस करेंगे जैसे यूआई में भी आई प्लेस अराउंड ट्वेंटी पीपल फॉर इंटर्नशिप इन बिटवीन वी आर प्लेसिंग देम फॉर फुल टाइम आई हैव लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज वेर आई एम प्लेसिंग देम बट शुड आई गिव यू अ गारंटी लाइक दैट दैट वुड बी रॉन्ग राइट गिरीश इट इज डेफिनेटली वी हैव लॉट ऑफ कनेक्शन वी कैन प्लेस यू ऑल्सो बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव एनी गारंटी सच सच कल तुम फिर इंटरव्यू में कहीं बराबर बात नहीं की है तो इट वुड बी रॉन्ग ऑन माई पार्ट राइट so that's where there is a support there is an ecosystem we are connected with all the firms in fact all the cpa firms partners leaders everyone knows me also right so it's not that samandar is not connected we are tied up with all the top 50 cpa firms so don't worry on that particular thing on placement and all those things aap se baith ke padho baki ka kaam hamare pe chhod do make no, sense no 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 sir i am all i'm saying if at all i enroll for a from samandar while pursuing also we can place you grish i have got that doubt Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. I know that. Okay. Cool. Yes. Go ahead, Kanika. Kanika Kumar Das. Yeah. Kanika, go ahead. Yes, Kanika. Yeah. So, hi, sir. I have uh, completed B Com Honors back in 2019 from Delhi University, and currently I'm pursuing M Com and also working in Genpact in record to record uh, record to report profile. So will CPA add value to my career and also give it a push? How many years you have career? been uh, Kanika with Genpact? It's around one point five years. Definitely, I'm go. Then after CPA, after that, I'll have to take you out from Genpact and put you in the big force. I hope that should be fine, right? Yeah. Kanika, how is it? Yeah. I <laughs> hope Genpact HR is not <laughs> watching this webinar actually. But to be honest, yes. After CPA, definitely there are huge job opportunities. Okay. and we can place you kanika that should not be a problem whatsoever and will this experience be considered yes it will be considered i think you will get a good high call so industry okay. experience is considered in all the companies okay. okay thank you so much thank you kanika yes kumar das please go ahead hi sir uh, actually i have completed my bcom and uh, present i am working as operations analyst at uh, royal bank of scotland not like so chance. i am thinking to pursue this uh, cma edward is ready okay How many years you have been Kumar in that uh, role? Uh, since seven months I am working here. Okay, I think you can comfortably go with USCMA. That should not be a problem, Kumar. Okay, and what I am thinking is that after completing that, uh, can I move abroad? Like, no, no, no. You don't have any job opportunities in abroad for USCMA specifically, but CPA definitely you have. CMA okay. there are opportunities, but they are not so huge. Don't want to kind of misguide you on that. Okay, Kumar. And also for CP also it doesn't mean that you will do CP. You'll get a job in US. So job has your US job has nothing to do with your qualification. Then though every Indian will do CP and go to US, right, Kumar? So visa, your uh, uh, what do you say, your uh, degree and all everything plays a big role there. So your immigration rules and also all lot of those factors are there for US. The ideal strategy would be to do CPA, go to a big four, and then they kind of sponsor you for your visa and move you to other places after two years. That is a better way of approaching the things. You work in the big four for two three years, Kumar. After you do CPA or CMA, and then they will sponsor you or they will move you to other location. That is a good role. Within Royal sir, Bank, also you can kind of explore those opportunities, internal job posting wise. Sir, is this uh, banking be considered for the this CMA? certification yes 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 100% okay sir sure Because sir thank you has a risk management subjects in their part 1 so definitely that risk management profile commensurate with the banking experience kumar okay okay sir thank you sir thank you okay lokesh lokesh please go ahead hello okay. yes lokesh hello man. hello shiva sir how are you uh, this is lokesh thank you lokesh i have say uh, so i have completed my b uh, com in 2019 i have a 12 years experience in accounting okay presently presently working as a chief accountant in saudi arabia so mm -hmm. i just want your suggestion i as a, like i am planning to uh, i want to i mean uh, 
enhance my career. So I want to, uh, I am confused to uh, choose between CM and CPA. Oh, okay. So Lokesh, I would suggest that Middle East may ho up, right? So yeah. any day in Middle East, CPA is a better uh, choice because there are a lot of uh, US-based companies there, right? Mm -hmm. Operating uh, uh, casinos in Vegas. So I yeah. think uh, definitely CPA is a better uh, choice location. They have been there in the Middle East since many years. So I would suggest yeah. only for a CPA qualification for you. I was I was working in India, Bangalore. I just moved like a, one and a half, two years back to Saudi Arabia. So from like it's internal job posting. Okay, okay. No, no, cool. Go in with CPA, Lukesh. Okay, so so just uh, so the the one doubt is see, I have only become so that, that is I'm from Bangalore University. So I already connected with Anuya. She told like you have ninety credit and then you need to do bridge course. Okay, this is like only one bridge course, right? Correct, correct, correct. One year. So you can get in touch with Anuya and give you know, a the offer on the registration part. Okay. So like once I, I mean, uh, this like uh, this will go together, right? This uh, bridge course and then CPA, right? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Yes, so you don't need to wait for the bridge course to complete. The moment you register also, it's fine. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hey, Bhanu, I have just unmuted you. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, this is Bhanu. I hope you are yes. doing. Uh, I, actually, I am working in an MNC as an SAP consultant. Uh, how come it will it will help me to uh, uh, to become a CPA by doing the? How many years you have been there as SAP consultant, Bhanu? Oh, uh, it's been long. Uh, two and a half years from the last two and a half years. And so around the CPA definitely would help you because you need a functional experience, right? In SAP, okay. see your SAP uh, profile. How will you make the functional work go in? So that uh, qualification will actually give to your clients that okay, this guy has a functional expertise also. So in that way, I think a CPA would definitely play a very very good role. I am hoping that you are working in a functional role rather than doing a coding and all, right, yes. Manu? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, CPA definitely would help. Go ahead. Hello, sir. Yes, Harshad, go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, I'm currently working in an investment bank mm -hmm. in Pune. So what can mm -hmm. be beneficial for me, CMA, USA or CPA? How many years you have been and which profile? What are you doing in investment bank? Uh, in I'm in fund accounting, reconciliation. Oh, uh, fund accounting. We have a lot of people from CPA already. We have placed one of them in Goldman Sachs as well. Uh, and one of them in standard chartered in fund accounting and even in EY in taxation in uh, US tax uh, specifically with FSI vertical financial services and insurance uh, fund accounting is a very very good role thought focus also is a very good company in Mumbai after CPI I can place you there also if you want to kind of explore your career in fund accounting more and in the better companies right Arshad okay. so okay. I would strongly suggest go ahead with CPA sir uh, and what about US CMA can I do both I mean, if you have time, you can go ahead. But I think if you have already done CPA, then there's no point doing CMA later. But if you want to start off with CMA first, then CPA, then it's a good choice. I, 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 yeah, sir. I was thinking about doing CFA, but it's too long-term course. And I no, can't CFA give will help you in fund accounting. Only CMA or CPA will help you. And I would say CPA is better and a better choice for fund accounting, to be honest. Because it has accounting more. CMA will not have accounting coverage more. It will have cost okay, accounting more. Okay. Uh, sir, how much salary hike can I expect? Currently, my package is... Uh, package of around 10 lakhs, 10 to 11 lakhs. What is yeah. your current salary right now? Uh, sure? Sir, 4 lakh. Aram se, double ho jayega, 100%. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Arshad. See, yaha pe double ho jayega, bole to, see, guys, I'm telling from the experience, right? Okay. And I'm pretty much sure what I'm talking about. So, these are the... You can also talk, Arshad, few of our alumni is also from Zimandar who are working in fund accounting. It's a very good profile. Okay. Don't worry, you can comfortably go ahead with CPA. Yes, Charan, go ahead. P. Charan or Pratik Khurana or Sudhir. Yeah, hi, sir. So I am Pratik and uh, I am currently working in Vipro uh, from past three years. Uh, like for the first two, uh, two years and 10 months, they uh, I was working in account receivables role and currently now I am order to cash profile where okay. we are doing pricing, revenue and everything. So, uh, so in Wipro, we have been offered as the executive program as well from Symbiosis. So I have done two years executive MBA as well. Uh, 
after bcom honors so uh, basically will this executive mba will help me in uh, getting those credits of 150 to like reach to cma no, or no you will not get pratik unfortunately but you can still give your documents to my team and they can cross check with nasba and because normally we give an opinion after checking with nasba and icpa so you can okay. still send okay. the documents to the counselor she can okay. still cross okay. verify with the evaluation agency and we can get back to you within 24 hours see we okay. don't want to give you an opinion pratik bol diye kahi aap uh, ko credit milenge fir aap join karoge baad mein pata chale nahi mil raha hai so i we don't like misguiding like that right so we want to give an written email or an uh, update to you after talking with the team okay that's what to, uh, otherwise i have to thought of some bridge course to you know get into us yes, yes, i sir. wanted to get in touch with our counselor just let them okay. know about the program details and all they will check and sure. update you within 24 hours i mean garbar kya ek din ruk sakte ho na pratik yeah yeah and you need to wait then to dekho yahan pe samandar mein ek problem hai teacher dhang ka dikhta nahi hai classes hamare utne posh nahi hai right counselors hamare marketing karte nahi hai so they don't push so we are a thoroughly focused ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट तो हम लोगों को सिर्फ पढ़ाना आता है और प्लेस कराना आता है ये दो चीजें हम लोग बहुत अच्छे से करते हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट इज आर स्ट्रेंथ ओके रेस्ट अदर फैक्टर्स इज अ ब्यूटिफिकेशन इज अ बड़े बड़े थिंग्स एंड ऑल वी डोंट टॉक व्हाट वी लाइक इज डूइंग द थिंग्स राइट वे एंड इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर मेक सेंस प्रतीक सो इट्स बेटर टू वेट फॉर वन आर टू डेज गेट एन अपडेट फ्रॉम द टीम एंड देन काइंड ऑफ टेक योर डिसीजन देर इज नो हरी वॉट सेवर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रतीक Okay, Sudhir, please go ahead. Okay, Rahul Singh or Nidhi Gupta. Ah, uh, hello, sir. Hello, hello. I am Sudhir. Yes, yeah, Sudhir. Go ahead, Sudhir. Sir, I am. I have completed in BCom 2011 and currently pursuing in MCom. completed in mcom first year can i pursue cpa course better for me oh 100% sir i mean it's better to kind of uh, do a professional qualification than being just being a bcom i have already informed that in the beginning of my session so uh, i mean there is no problem whatsoever doing a cpa okay sir long distance long distance timing 2011 in completed bcom Sudhir, I have a student who have completed uh, BCom in the month of 1996. She is our oldest alumni, for 52 years old. She is currently working with one of the. Uh, sir, known as sir, sir, I have completed in MCom first year in two semesters. Okay, uh, I I do not uh, completed to any bridge courses courses. No, so you can check with the team, Sudhir. On that, just... I I have checked I have checked the um, all details. To your okay. team. If they have said Sudhir, then that means Ripal only have said. So they reflect my uh, ideology only. So if they have said that you are eligible, you don't need to do anything extra. Then you don't need to do. Sir, you you suggest me to complete a CPA courses or not? Yes, yes, hundred percent. Professors. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I I am I have no any working experience. Don't I, worry. I have... We will ensure that you will get the working experience. I have uh, enrolled in CA courses, but uh, but completed only foundation courses, CPT, and in registered no for worries, intermediate no courses. Worries. No worries, so there there are a lot of people who have done CPA comfortably, and Aparna also one of our students. She is also forty nine years old. So there is no. This is like only four exams, so there not like CA twenty exams. You can comfortably yeah, yeah, complete yeah. application. Utana tough hai nahi. राहुल Uh, sir, I have completed masters in commerce, and I have a three point five year of experience in accounts payable profile in Korean MNC. So, mm -hmm. sir, my question is that uh, which course is more relevant for me, like a CPA or CMA? And uh, second question is, is, is it help me to get uh, some good salary hike on my current package? What is your current experience? How many years you have been in that in Korean company? 
So 3.5, 3.5 year of experience. I would suggest a CPA and then you will get a good jump, Rahul. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Makes sense. Yep. Thank you. Devashish okay, asked me for. Yeah, Rahul, you were telling something. Sorry to obstruct. Please go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir, Maimo. Okay, thank you. Yes, Devashish, go ahead. Devashish Das or Nidhi Gupta or T Charan. Chipal, sir, I had one more question if I am allowed to ask. Just a second, Ashish. I'll just complete with the ones who have raised the hands. Sure, uh, sure. T Charan, Rohit Pettala. Yes, any one of them because I see you pinging on the Zoom chat. Hello, Sir Rahul here. Just Hello, sir. Rahul, right? Yes, Rahul, go ahead. Yeah, Rahul Patil. Yes, sir. So uh, I'm working in MNC since 2013. So it's been uh, nine years experience. And I, I'm a part of a general leisure team only uh, in the entire this tenure. So uh, what which course would, um, would be suitable for me? CMA, CMA again, or CPA? Same CPA only, Rahul, because you have spent three years of your time. I would suggest again CPA course was a, would be a better choice for you. Uh, here I would like to add one small point that uh, I have quite good uh, bonding with my stakeholders, which stays in uh, USA. So they suggest me to do uh, US CMA rather than CPA. So I, and they assure me that they will take care of the visa part as well. So Agar if they are taking care Rahul, then very well and good. So if that company is taking care, what's the company name, Rahul? It's Cummins. Acha, Cummins, yes. They, they, they motivate a lot of people for CMA. So we are also working with them. So yes, you can go ahead with CMA, Rahul. It should not be a problem. Okay. And uh, is there will be any package? I, I mean, uh, because I think I do. I'm a, a Bcom graduate and... Uh, I 100%, feel... right? 100% because you are having a professional qualification in your hand. Definitely, there will be a comp increase because you were just a BCom previously. Now with USCMA, definitely you will get an additional hike for that. I expect around 30 to 40% jump. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rahul. Nidhi, please go ahead. You can ask a question. Yeah. Uh, hi, sir. My name is Nidhi Gupta. I'm an SAP consultant. So my question is, is USCMA will add value in my career as I have researched on uh, Google and that what I have seen that uh, in India, India the USCMA CMA does not have any value. These kind of comments I have heard. So is it true or something? Can you guide me? <laughs> so Nidhi, USCMA definitely has value in India, but it depends on which institute you are enrolled with. Because the institute who are not tied up with corporates, who don't work with companies, may not be able to place you at all, Nidhi. With Samandar, we can give you assurance that we can place you. So going with the Google comment, definitely because they have their experiences with other institutes and they are not, not placed. You can definitely talk to the alumni of Samandar. Anuya can share you some of the numbers. Talk to them in which companies they are working with. What is their profile now? What is their packages now? That's the better way to check than doing on the internet and all. It's better to talk with the people who have completed and who have got placed. Right, that's the better way of checking whether the qualification has scope or not. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it will add add a value in my. Hundred and ten percent. Hundred and ten percent, Nidhi. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Who's this? Hello, sir. I am Sudhir. Hello. Sudhir, just a second. I'm just completing the other uh, people. Okay. Okay. Devashish. Ah, uh, Devashish. I think I'm not able to hear. Uh, is anyone able to hear Devashish? No. Devashish, we are not able to hear you, unfortunately. Okay. Vignesh, go ahead. Vignesh, Rohit, Pentala, Vignesh, Rohit, Abila, K. Hello, sir. Yes, Rohit Pentala, please go ahead. Sir, I'm a qualified cost accountant working as a production accountant in Hyderabad, sir. Okay. How does uh, my uh, my present experience suits US CPA? I am very much interested. Sir. Recently, I attended auditing class, which was last time, started last week. Okay. I am I, I am in dilemma. I want to join there, but after qualifying, how, what will be my position? Whether any career opportunities for, as a production accountant or a cost and management accountant? 
Okay, so you already have an ICWI. Now after CPA, what happens, Rohit, is you will work in US audit and US accounting, right? Okay. So uh, this is what your profile should be, or on US tax and all. Basically, to move into more correlated costing, I cannot promise. But these are the profiles I have for you: audit, tax, and all those things. So if you want to move in these profiles, Rohit, then definitely yes, we can help you, and you can enroll with us. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Yes, Vignesh. Hi, Sripal. Vignesh here. Uh, yeah, Vignesh. So, I uh, recently enrolled with uh, uh, CMM Education uh, for CPA. Welcome, Vignesh. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, actually, I, uh, I got the login credentials for CMM portal and Baker portal. So, uh, I have received the Baker portal, which, uh, and its version is four point one. I have and, uh, went uh, for CA course. And the CPT itself, I got, uh, I didn't pass. I could not pass. So I have the fear of that. Then Abila, just a second, Abila. Uh, I'm just completing with Vignesh. Just a second. Yes, Vignesh, yeah. go ahead. Uh, so I have received the Baker uh, with it, and its version is 4.1. And I got to know that there will be change, change in amendments, and that I'll be receiving the Baker material. No, no, don't worry, Vignesh. There is no amend. There are hardly one or two pages changing. That is there in the Baker product itself. So when you go into the home screen, you will see course updates column there, and you okay. can check the updated and you can download the PDF. See, we just share you the screen. If you can see the screen here, you can see there there is a course updates column here. Yes, there yes. are all the course updates PDF you can download from here, and that's all. I mean, you don't need to order again the books and all. And every again you will have a change in November or December. So that is the way you will need to keep taking those changes for those PDFs and read the latest stuff with this. So don't worry. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I just have another question. Yeah. Uh, so actually, you suggested me to uh, start off with PAR, but uh, I'm planning to start off with BAC. So uh, as it is, you know, uh, really short and uh, you know, it's very easy compared to other subjects. So what do you suggest? I'm planning of BAC because it is, you know, no weakness. Weakness. Start off with a subject in which you are most interested in. With right, so don't worry. I mean, I have not said that. If far say start, can I? You start with the subject which you like the most, but stick to that and start studying. That is more important. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Vignesh. So, guys, uh, just a second. Sorov had one question on YouTube that is uh, he have done BCom plus diploma in IFRS. May I get entry level job? Sorov, hundred uh, percent. After doing CPA, you will get a job. But without a CPA, you will not get a job just with BCom and diploma. I hope I am clear on that. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Abila, I have just unmuted you. Please go ahead, Abila. Abila, Abila K. Yeah, hey, hi. Uh, I am Abila's husband, Sharon. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So we are in a dilemma whether to go with CMA or CPA. Uh, looking at the, her background, her background is that uh, she has done M -com, BCom and MCom uh, okay. in finance. Now, uh, then, post that she has gone for BA, uh, she has done uh, you know in commerce itself, BA in commerce. She has got set and net qualified. She is actually set and net qualified. Uh, now, the thing is that uh, she has decided not to go with further with uh, teaching. She is looking for a career change. Which is okay. now on the accounting line. So okay. confusion is that uh, at the minute uh, we also have a small child which is two years old. So she has undergone CE, she has gone through CA course, but she was uh, she couldn't do anything there. I think she uh, she, she was not able to pass or something, and she is scared about CA. Okay, so having said that, she is scared whether the same toughness is going to be. I'm sure that uh, from the uh, from whatever discussions, I understand that CPA is much easier than CA. But we wanted to know how tough it is. Uh, you know, in order to clear having uh, having said that, because we have a kid which is just two years, and her uh, last she has completed her MCom is on is during 2013. Okay, so see Abila. Uh, I mean, uh, I just lost yeah. the name of. Yeah, sure. That's huh? fine. Yeah. Yeah. Sharon, so, Sharon. So basically, see, we had uh, students. So there is one good video on YouTube with Anju, who was pregnant with. Uh, I mean, she had only three months baby after she uh, when she was pregnant. She gave your audit exam, 
after she delivered the baby after three months she gave the for example she got around 95 97 so she is a ca dropout so like that many of our working professionals are there who are uh, working or having a kid and still studying and passing the exam so uh, i mean the women professionals uh, they are really fantastic people so you don't need to worry on that they can easily pass the exam and all comfortable they are not for ca course no need to worry at all cpa right you are speaking on cpa right yes yes, yes. i would suggest a cpa for her oh okay 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 thank yeah. you and she can very well do that with with a kid also we have a lot of people who are doing it she can always watch the videos also to get the motivation and i can tell uh, one of my team members to even talk to those people okay. you don't need to worry she can also talk to those professionals who have actually done that successfully okay okay one more question that i have is uh, is this in uk Uh, whether the CPA will be valuable in UK because I am trying to yes yes to yes yes AI CPA have recently signed an MOU now with ICAW uh, sorry I- ICI Scotland right they have also signed up with Ireland they have also signed up with ICAW Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales so they have an MOU there they, she can comfortably work in UK as well okay. thank you thank you. Thank you. Devashi, we are not able to hear you. Unfortunately, I have unmuted you several times, but it's not happening actually. Can you can you still try, Devashi, or Vinesh? Please go ahead, P. Vinesh. Okay, this should be our last question of the session. I think we are. Ah, there have been so much of time. We have discussed a lot. Ah, uh, so this should be the last question. Vinesh, please go ahead. Hi sir, sir, can you hear me? Hear me? Yes, yes, Vinesh, go ahead. Hello. Yes, Vinesh, go ahead. Uh, sir, um, okay, sir, Namaskaram, sir. This is the first time that I'm uh, communicating to you. I am a great fan of you, sir. For the past uh, last one year, I have seen so many uh, more video. Okay, that's why I joined Simander for CPA. Okay, sir. Hello. Thank you, thank you, Vinesh. Okay, sir, I will. Uh, Okay, okay, sir. Uh, currently, I am doing ICWA. Frankly speaking, uh, Monday is my Monday is my exam, sir. I am going to start, and I am uh, studying. So after that, I am uh, going for CPA. So uh, I wish to start with auditing. But uh, you, I saw your email uh, telling not to start with auditing. Go for any other subject. So what's your point? Uh, am I start so, with auditing? Yes, what happens is I didn't tell that you should not start with. You can still start with audit. But what's happening in audit exam is there are a lot of topics from FAR getting tested. So, like you will have to study one or two chapters of FAR before you give your audit exam because they are asking in audit exam a lot of questions from FAR first two chapters basically that is subsequent events, yeah, uh, adjusting journal entries. So these are the two topics. You just be uh, attending on the Telegram groups. I've also shared those topics name so yeah, that are yeah, adjusting yeah. journal entries, subsequent events. and uh, a bit of equity method in consolidation so these are the three topics if you do this you can easily write the audit exam also first there is nothing to stop you from writing the audit exam also first okay you can still go ahead with audit okay so okay so for going to audit is okay is it yes 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 but this the topics which i mentioned you, if you follow that that should be uh, fine okay thank you thank you vinesh okay uh, okay Okay, okay, I think Thank, we still okay, had. Bye, bye. Thank you so much, Vinesh. Thank you. Ah, uh, we still had one or two more people who have raised the hand. Sharal, Satish, Hussefa. Ah, uh, what Sir, do you say? Sir, before that, ah, uh, I just wanted to add some points here because most of them are asking about the bridge courses and everything. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, guys. As you people are putting your ah uh, text messages re- requesting for bridge courses to suggest bridge courses and all. Uh, i am unable to tell which bridge course and how much it cost and all because there are two different bridge courses that we are tied up with it is one of the ugc approved and aict approved so unless and until we get your documents screened by your dedicated evaluation team even i am not trained on how many credits and all that there is a different team who is trained by becker and nasba they are the ones who help you with the bridge course and all so please get in touch with one of our counselor i have already dropped a couple of times our website number and an email id please contact us so that we can assign a dedicated counselor to you 
who will be assisting you with end to end process so don't worry don't get panic we are all there to help you achieve your goals thank you sripal sir thank you anuya for that uh, so guys we have our website www.simandereducation.com so you can go in with this website the team is completely trained uh, so you can see that i was invited to nasmo also for lunch uh, last year so we have very good expertise on evaluation and all i don't think so you should worry on that aspect it's just that we don't want to give any opinion without seeing a document at all right if we tell you that this bridge course this course you can do it and tomorrow you come to know that this was not right that would be a problem that's why we i always recommend that you put it on an email or uh, send your documents first so that team will verify give them 5 uh, to 6 hours of time to get back to you and once they get back to you you can uh, kind of register accordingly with samandar because we cannot take any candidate who is not meeting the eligibility requirements i know that you want to join you want to do the course but please understand we just can't enroll anyone if they are not even eligible for because that would be wrong on our part to just to kind of register anyone so that's why i am recommending that it's better you kind of uh, 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 first give your education documents check your eligibility once the team tells that you are eligible and all then go ahead and kind of uh, register with samandar so you can see that number there 7780273388 on the website home page itself and there is an email id as well so better drop an email and then a call also later okay so that would actually help you around so that's all thank you so much i think one question which was asked is cpa descriptive or objective abila uh, i think you missed that so cpa is 50% multiple choice 50% simulation that simulation again is in the fill in the blanks format only right so it's 50% in cq 50% sim more of a uh, online exam there is no paper pencil involved every month the cpa exam is conducted except for saturdays and sundays entire year the exam is conducted so you are having absolutely no problem in cracking this exam you need to score a minimum of 75% in order to pass the exam so there is 50% ncq 50% case study questions okay thank you so much guys i know that still there are so many messages even after i spent two and a half hours right <laughs> of uh, session today there are still people who are waiting there and who are asking so many questions please feel free to connect me on linkedin please get in touch with our team on the respective numbers which i have shared anuya is also on linkedin rashri and all so please get in touch with them on linkedin or on the other platforms but uh, nevertheless please reach us on 7780273888 that is our number we are available from morning 9 o'clock morning 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock okay so thank you so much everyone take care everyone and wish you a great night please stay connected on linkedin everyone thank you so much thank you anuya thank you everyone thank you sir thank you sir